Hey everybody, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Where we left off last time, we were in the Indoline Praetorium. That's not where we're at currently, that's where we were just at. But, what we did, we went to the Indoline Praetorium, we went back, we did some stuff, we um, got some side quest stuff done, sorta, kinda. We did a lot of grinding, honestly, last episode. Got into the Indoline Plateau of Praetorium, fought Zeke, learned that he was royalty, turns out, which is kinda nice. And we went to sleep, leveled up, and we are good to go to keep continuing on with the main story. I think at the main story where we're at now, level 40s, I think we're fine at this level. So, mm, we'll see as we continue this, but I'm pretty sure we're good to go. That really shouldn't have much to worry about. All we have to really do is just go. Starts throwing socks. Why are you throwing socks at me? You're not even here, Rose. Also, hi, Rose. How are you? How was your day? This is the main interest of the Gaiotis capital. Are you mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. How you doing, Rose? Main interest to go to this capital, the Praetorium of Indol. I'm interested to hear the details. Ascend the steps you see before you to reach the Sayoris Plaza. Beyond the plaza lies the sanctum where Praorta Almathus himself offers prayers every day. Interesting. Um, before I do mm, too much, do I have money? Wrong button, take a shot. I'm mad, but I'm alive. Well, at least you are alive. Um, are you, like... Like, did you did you get to your location that you needed to go? Did, did it go well? Like, did you did you did you throw anybody out any windows yet? Because that's what I would like to know. There's also a Burmy in chat, everybody. Pokey, catch it if you really want it. Wait, wasn't there a Ox Core guy or like something around here? Could have sworn there was. Yeah, we just got here. Oh, you just got here. Wait, you just got there? Excuse me? How far of a drive is it? Didn't you leave at like 6 this morning or some shit? I'd be pissed. Was it a comfortable ride? At least? Ah. Regular so blacksmith. Bye. Alright, uh, you don't need anything, you don't need anything, you don't need anything, you don't, uh, you need something, so here you go. Apply. Uh, how about my girl here? Uh, hell yeah, give you that. I'm just gonna keep buying them. I got the money, I got the funds for it now. Your auto attack goes up by so much. Here, take it, take it, take it, take it. Yep, yeah, because he was an hour late picking us up. And no, I left at 6 because I still had to work today. Oh. I understand. Okay. 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 Understood. Jeez. Well, I hope the ride wasn't too bad, though. Like, I hope it was a, an easy ride. It wasn't, like, super, like, shit, you know? You know what I'm saying? And last but not least, you get the clockwork. Oh, you get the clockwork shield. I gotta go ahead and equip that on her. Um, that's the wrong button. Take a shot. Oh, I'll take a shot. Hang on. Ha <laughs> ha. Slept the whole way because of spite. Wait. You have the six. Oh, you have the six a.m. My brain is like it's six p.m. right fucking now. Okay. Okay, did you at least get some good sleep in, then? I hope you at least got some good sleep in. Uh, Poppy Alpha? Oh. Yes. Yes. There you go. There you go, Poppy Alpha. Do you have anything in your finish chart that can go up? No? How about everybody else? Ooh! Got enough not to make heads roll. Uh, well... Listen, listen, you got to make heads roll. I won't tell if you won't tell. I won't let anybody know who done it. All right. Cool. Cool. 
Nothing ever happened. I didn't see anything. Therefore, no one died. See? That's called big brain thinking right there. See what I'm saying? Big fucking brain. Do they sell the Narzapar jelly here? I wonder if they sell the Narzapar jelly. I would like to be able to buy that, like, easily. No, but they have... Nah. Shit. They don't have the delicate sweet teas! Whatever. It's fine. The Narzapar jelly lasts for, like, an hour plus, so... Straight fire. Pulls out Dad's Christmas gift. Head's gonna roll today! That's true. Exactly. And you see? They can't trace it because it's untraceable. They'll never know. Because you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna be like that, but with like a like I'm gonna we could put like a like a fire red laser attachment on it so it like burns through it so they can't see the serrations. Boom, you're welcome. Saved your whole Morag. life. Can I ask you something? Pyro wants to talk to Morag about some shit. What chapter are you on? One who woke up Mithra. Four? I five, I think? One of the two? Appreciates what that means. Also, hi Alex, um, welcome in, buddy. It's just that We're an indoll well, right now. You're not doing anything to stop us. Why is we got that? Mommy Morag on the team. Because of Adam. Why does she care about Adam so much? Is that your relative? Five hundred years ago. Okay. He became this great hero. He this is five? Okay, so five. Today. But I know him only through legends. Okay, so she only doesn't do it. Okay. To see what his blade is capable of for myself, I confess I was intrigued. I mean, to be fair, I like to see his blade too. So You're still a good bit ahead of me now. Fuck yeah. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The That's true. You're under Imperial control. You won't be that hero. Fuck the Imperials. Go with the Stormcloaks. I'm not sure I follow. I always side with the Stormcloaks. Great power. Should be their own masters. Still in four with Rosa mean? Chase on the on the rooftops. Oh, the uh, the Lila Chase. Like. Yeah, to fight Rosa later. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just look at Zeke? The real reason? I don't like what you're implying. Does does Morag have a little bit of a of a little bit of a uh, of an interest in little old Rex? The inner Praetorium. KOS, MOS, McComical. What is that? Here you will find the main administrative facilities. Ooh. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. We get housing? Fuck yes! Dude, this is called the royal treatment right here, bud. This is the royal treatment. This is Sayoris Plaza. It's so pretty. Wow, it's pretty huge busy too it's not that busy there's like maybe 20 people out that's not that bad uh cosmos is the rarest blade in the game Ooh, i dare say many people gather here on religious pilgrimages pilgrimages really interesting precisely correct many people arrive in indol with each coming day and the building you see ahead is the indoline sanctum impressive is it the half of it how'd you like it eh really makes you appreciate the, maj the majesty of the praetorium right Aren't you, like, the next in line? 0.1% chance of getting her. Oh, it's a her. Ooh. So where do you get off sounding so proud, Shellhead? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's magnificent. Truly magnificent. Who the fuck said that? Was that Nia? Or was that Dromart? I didn't even read the top of the page. Rooms have already been made ready for you. You'll find them to be le at, to the left as you enter the sanctum. We get to stay in a big fancy building. You are our honored guests here, after all. Quite amazing. Now then, shall we go? Better than the fucking way the um the damn high intia fucking treated me and 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 Shulk. Damn. Soros Plaza West Gate. Enter the Indoline Sanctum and rest at the lodgings. Look, I mean, this, again, it's not really that busy. I mean, there's a few people here, sure. One in one thousandth of a chance. That's fucking dope. Oh, hey, a side quest. Melika. Ah, who are you? Oh, shit, more people popped in. Something wrong? No, you're not one of the locals, thank goodness. My name is Melika. My mother was orphaned in the war, and she raised me here in Indol. Oh, well, fuck. So, although I'm Gormati, I've never actually been to Gormat. Lately, there's been something that's been bothering me. I felt someone spying on me all the time. And I was just accepted into the choir of Indol just recently, and I think that's when it started. Are you quite all right? Well, it's driving me a little crazy. 
Wow, that's about as bad as when you're salvaging and a grev pops out. What blades do you have? I'll show you in just a second. I had no idea being a salvager was such a terrifying ordeal. If you'd be so kind, might I ask you find you help me identify the culprit? How can we turn our backs on those in need? We'll do all we can. Y you really would? Really? Thank you. Um, maybe you could start by asking around among the locals. Just bring me up casually in conversation and see if anyone knows anything. I'm sure the culprit must be someone living in the city. Otherwise, I have no idea why they would. I'll be waiting right here, so please let me know if you find anything. Melika the Chorister. Chorista. Uh, no. Alright, so, the blades I currently have. Also, Rose with the cute little emotes. Wrong button, take a shot. I'll do that right now, actually. <laughs> mm. ah. Good shit. Okay. So. The blades currently we have. We have Rock, Mithra, Wolfric. Vess, Dromark, Boreas. Cassandra, Brigid, Brigid, and Godfrey. Poppy Alpha, Poppy QT. Those are the blades I currently have. That I'm using. I have other blades, like I have... Ursula as well, but I don't use her. I just kind of put her on Merc missions every now and then. Speaking of Merc missions. Oh, you got Cassandra. Yeah. I'll also have Finch. I have Finch as well, but I don't use her as well. Boop. Cassandra's your favorite. I so I had someone, uh, Swift Kitten, I believe, was the one who told me how to get Cassandra without telling me how to get Cassandra. Swift was like, do this thing and it's cool. I was like, okay, and then I did it, and then I got Cassandra, and I was like, woo, fuck yeah. So, it's cool, it's cool. I like Cassandra. I like Cassandra a lot. I also have the game voices turned down, because they get really loud when we fight, so that's why you don't really hear them, and I'm just gonna let you know that's just how it is for now. Well, for the rest of the game. She's not super powerful, but she's so, she is cute as fuck. I love her. I love her so much. Uh, they need humanoid, humanoid, uh, humanoid, and humanoid. Uh, do I have anyone with keen eye focus? Blah, 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 blah. Bonk! Who's bonking me? Rose, why are you bonking me? Alright, I don't have anything for that, so let's just go ahead and let them go. Uh, engage. And then I can engage another one, because I have two things of mercenaries now, actually. You deserve it! What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, I also have Veil as well. Uh, I need to do Ice. Go. Uh, Dark Mastery, Dark Mastery. Begin mission. Ursula, go on. Everything? What do you mean everything? I've done nothing. Oh, I see that Hydrate. With my beautiful, beautiful bottle. I have my beautiful bottle next to me, just in case. Thank you for the hydrate, my boss. Ah, good as fuck. Good as fuck. Alright. Squadsman Dispatch, let's go ahead and continue the story quest. Rank up trust with... Ooh, rank C. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's get to our lodging. I want to see this. I want to see what kind of room we're gonna get because i mean you know i mean they're they're treating us like royalty here or i guess honored guests so still it's pretty damn cool like again they're treating us better than the fucking high intia and i get the high intia vibes off these motherfuckers so bad just so you know something i recommend you never do is check the blade album it's got a big list of blades uh, but the ones that are spoilers aren't censored it shows their silhouettes, which in a lot of cases can give away the blade. Understood. Yeah, I won't ever check that. Because I don't want to be spoiled on them. Um, I don't know when I should start opening more core crystals. Uh, because I like my setup. I like Wolfric. I like Rock. I like Mithra on Rex. Um, I already, I mean, fucking Nia has, like, the good healers. I guess maybe I could get a better tank for Morag? Maybe? I don't know. Lady Fawn told us you would be, you would be coming. You must have endured great hardship on your journey. Please, feel free to use the chambers we prepared for you. Sure. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Okay, I shall. There's one more drive you'll get, driver you'll get. I'd wait until you get them and then open them all. Will do. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Bye, angel lady. I'm assuming she's some sort of god. My pleasure. Good night. 
I can't remember what they called her, though. An Endolian. I think she's like an Endolian or whatever. They, like, live longer. Or she just seems to be that hey, one from hi. the past. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should hey, Pyra. Mithra. Mithra would know more no, than you, no, Pyra. It's fine. I was just wondering. Why did you want Mithra to come out? The lighting she of this is a little incredible. weird. Incredible. In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. Oh. But Mithra can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. Huh. She had never met a more wonderful man. Oh. Was she in it love with Adam? Like a real hero. Mm -hmm. Why do you sound jealous, a Rex? Thing. A lot. Oh, yeah, she was in love with him. Oh, okay. I do, do I? Great. Why do you sound so unenthused? Wait. What? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. Oh, I agree with her, you know. Oh, she does love him. Ah, blushing head ass boy. He finds her so attractive. I mean, I don't blame him. She's she's fucking she's a babe. Also, it's very good that you made it to chapter four. I've seen a lot of people stop playing because of chapter four. That report wasn't even that bad. Oh, it's cold this morning. That report really wasn't it's that bad. Fun. If I could get through, like, fucking Persona 5. Oh, Persona 5 has some, like, got a little crush. Yeah. has what some low end when it comes to some of the palaces. Yeah, Chapter 4 of this, nothing compared to that. Oh, I see how it is, Yuris. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Ha! Huh. Hey, no. You've got the wrong... Just... I'm assuming Just that... Go on. Blades... I don't know. ...don't I have... Sam. ...like, oh. reproductive organs. Good morning, you two. So, like, technically a blade and a driver can't There's make children. But they can still fall in love together. Sorry, we just woke up really early. It's a dwebble in Shadow, buddy. I see. Fucking catch it if you really want it. They That's do. A nice mural. Interesting. Very grand. So a half blade, half human, but like without the this mural was painted long science ago, and shit. When the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while. They're missing. Hmm? What do you mean by they? Yeah, who's they? My memories. You were a blade. They must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier. But. It's confirmed. Uh, they, I don't think anything would happen if they did, but they do have them. It's very. It's confirmed very briefly. I know that they fall in love. I didn't know they could have kids. Or what I did. So she is a blade. They did. They confirmed that. I forgot. I really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. She definitely should. Mithra called me Haze earlier. They can't have kids, but they. But their organs are there. It's weird. Okay. Got it. Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Rex, you cannot be crushing on all these girls, bro. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. Ooh. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Bubble Ha! Rex, hey, my boy. He'll give you some well, wrinkles. let's be real. Rex has a type. A he likes blades. In body and soul. I love how yeah, smug he I love her. Well, the other you, I mean. Yeah, it's Bridget. Of course, it was five hundred years ago. So perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. Ha! Huh. So it's true. But how, how could she could remember? She possibly remember. You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago? Yes, enlighten me. Do you have like a recorder? Oh, a book! Even better. What's this? You could call it a diary. That's smart! Book. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. Oh! When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memory. That's so fucking sad, though, too. Though a blade's life is eternal, our affected lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. Yeah. You know, 
It's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even no one's like the Aegis, though. Often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Right, that's true. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. Unless someone I'm keeps it. I'm amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded. You are an imperial treasure. Files. I would. Ooh. Uh, Bridget. Bridget, good. Mm. I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. But why is Rex so special truly trust for this? Him, I would advise you tell him everything. To be honest, I would much rather Rex just happen to be yeah, there at the right time him. than him being related to Adam. You shouldn't be his blade. I'm gonna be honest with you. There doesn't need to be a full explanation of like I him just... being related to if Adam. You care about him. It's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But if you don't tell him now, you're nice shot. storing <laughs> pain for later, right? not making it easier. Is she tell talking about say that? Is she I telling her right about here. like her infatuation well, with him? We go back a long way, as you recall. Huh. And we're both blades, after all. But yeah, I really, really hope that Rex's story isn't just, oh, he's Adam's, like, like fucking descendant. I hope it's more like, no, he just happened to be at the right place at the right time. There's nothing special about Rex. It's just, he's just there, and he has the core, half of uh, Pyra's core crystal, and that's why it works. Like, she saw him as a hero, so she chose him, essentially. I don't want it to be like, oh, yeah, he's like... Adam's des descendant, or he's related to Shulk somehow, or some dumb shit like that. I don't want it to tie in like that with, like, the super cliche trophy shit. I'd rather be like, no, he's not special. He just happened to be at the right place at the right time. And I'd be fine with that. Now, if they do the whole thing where it's like, oh, he's, like, a fucking celestial for because he's related to someone of the celestial, but not Adam, whatever, fine, but, you know. I'm not going to say anything about the plot you haven't already seen, but don't worry. It doesn't do that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. It's almost time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get a bit nervous. Be careful not to say anything disrespectful. He could also, if if they wanted, like, I, again, I don't, know, I don't know if they're going to tie this into the first game or not. I, they don't have to, but, like, maybe Melia and Shulk had a kid, and that kid was his great 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 grandfather maybe i don't know we'll see maybe we'll find out maybe it has something to do with shulk I, I i wanted to tie in with the first game but at the same time it doesn't have to he again like i said he could literally just be some lucky ass kids the connections uh are very minor references okay like again he could just be some fucking child who lived in leftarian archipelago became a salvager and just happened to be like i said at the right place at the right time. We can't really say anything disrespectful. Yeah, I know, I know. The audience chamber is just across the courtyard. We'll be there in a jiffy. Oh, that's a good peanut butter brand, Jiff. Well, we can hardly keep the praetor him, uh, himself waiting. Shall we head out? Sure. Why not? Uh, the Merc Group has returned. Cool. Go ahead and get that back. Get the EXP and the money. Get that EXP and money. Get that EXP and money. Again, I'm not gonna say what the references are, but you will know them when they when you see them. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Uh, Ursula. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Go ahead, begin mission. There you go. I'm just sitting them out real quick. Letting them get me e some EXP as while well. I'm just not doing anything else. Okay. Onwards. Forwards. Forward! Was I supposed to jump off that? Probably not. I was probably supposed to stay up there, huh? Whoopsies! Nah, I think it's fine. I think there's a stairwell up here. I think there's a stairwell somewhere. 
Or did I really, or was I really not supposed to jump off that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> did I do it dumb? Did I? No, I didn't. There's a stairwell right here. Ha-ha! See? Big brain. I know what to do. I knew just to jump into the, uh, into the, into the, into the, um, the thing below. It's fine. It's fine. I don't have to worry about it. Ooh. Hello. Who the fuck are you? Okay. Salvager gear. Okay. Books! Fuck yeah! Are you at the camera shake when he was walking? Who the fuck is this? Oh? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, that's the world tree, the Elysium. Father waits above. Oh, it's the guy who got the Aegis. Okay, with Malos and Pyra. The two, the two Aegises. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh, it's got a little torch. Very, te very technological with the hallways here. Would not have expected that in the tree. Okay. Open sesame. Puh, puh. Open sesame. All right. Bright blinding light, everybody. So he, okay, so this is the motherfucker that took the Aegis's. All right. Asshole for doing that, by the way. So you're telling me you went into Elysium, stole the Aegis's, and got away basically scot-free. Like, you're still alive, aren't you? Bro, that would have killed a normal human being. But I guess you're not human. I feel like they're descendants of, whatchamacallit, um, the, the Hyentias. The way their ears are, 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 are shaped. There's Malos, there's Pyra, or Mithra. Pyra, Mithra. Does Malos have a secondary fault? Well, they did say they. Well, that was on, on somebody. Praetor Amaltus. They did say they on Jin. There he is! This motherfucker. He's been alive forever. So these Indolin people can live forever, essentially. Like, they have high fucking... The boy has arrived, your Years. Ooh. Ooh. Cameron's is like Sheikahs from Legend of Zelda. I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. That is a cool fucking room. I like this room. Cool throne room. It's fucking dope. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Oh, I love his boy. Uh, you're not the Praetor. Are you? He is the Praetor. No way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. The motherfucker knows what... Your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. Older? We heard that you were cold. You're dying. just as old as Cold was. Your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. Okay. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. Okay. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. How are we the same? I consider us equals. That's high honor. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. <laughs> <laughs> Off with his head. <laughs> You're different stop, stop. somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Let, let oh, Mithra out. I almost forgot. Here. Calm down, you fucking guards. I got this from Cole. I'm not gonna stab the he man. Said it belonged to you. Please. Ah, oh, Cole. That brings back memories. Okay. So you didn't want to animate him walking? Okay. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us. 
that you would know the way. Do you know the way? I have to get to Elysium. To, to save all rest any way I can. I mean, we won't know for okay. sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Probably. Long ago. Oh. Too long ago. I used to think like you. Mallows. Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find Elysium or the architect. I want. I hope we get to meet the architect. I it was because I was unworthy. But you climbed the tree, though. Rex, I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. You're gonna give me money? Really? Oh, thank you so much. No okay. For thanks. This may be my destiny. Ooh. The reason I've lived all these years, and now. Yeah. Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. Ooh. Welcome in, Warren. How you doing, bud? Thank you for that. She. So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? Well, he wasn't lying out of his ass. What do you mean? He's old. Will Pyra be okay? By the Praetor is like 500 plus years old, though. The Praetor Dinwit. What's he gonna do? Eat her? He might. Back there, I felt something weird for a second. Yeah, like Mallows. Interesting. Rex. Just wanted to make a grand entrance, but welcome in, buddy. Like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos's driver, and it's messing with your head. I didn't realize it was dialogue. It's all good, buddy. To me. You actually did it at a, no. at a good time when they really weren't speaking. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Get that lit, Leo. Sorry. I'm not explaining it well. There are blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. Hey, good shit, Warren. Good shit. Yeah, it was kind of weird that we were seeing Malos, but let's see if he explains stuff. 1500 years ago. Are you 1500 years old? Exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair. Always as pristine as the day it was made. The technique is long forgotten. Is it? I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. Ah, uh, depends on the way you look what at it, buddy. Think? Technologically, we're advancing. Oh, Mithra. Well, I'm just amazed. There's the meme. How little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? Yeah, why is he I not look much different? And the driver of an Aegis. It's so young. you're the driver of Malos. If you say so. Okay, that makes why sense. Why do this now, though? You've never let Good catch, go Warren. before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. Did you let Malos just have his That's own an way to go? I would like to believe there is one who can reach the architect and save this dying world. The world is, is supposed really to die. Strange? It's just it's just evolution at this point. And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? I mean Okay, point. I guess he couldn't really do anything to stop Malos. I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair. What was he going to do? You're right. You got a point. Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. I kind of wish that that conversation would have gone a little bit, like... I wish that conversation would have kind of kept going. I kind of wanted to hear more what he had to say, but... I guess they're going to save that for later. We're probably going to get a flashback of, of, the, of the rest of that conversation. Because that conversation really didn't seem like it had an end to it, but... Anyway. Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. 
Welcome back. How was it, Pyra? Mostly he was talking with Mithra. They knew each other before, right? Yes. So, in in summary, the Praetor is like 1,500 plus years ago. Like, year old. Like, he, he's old. But he doesn't look any different. Is that just because he's indolent? Or is it because he's the driver of Malos? Does he... Does me having that crystal in my chest make me live as long as a blade, maybe? Oh, shit. One second, guys. There's food on my, uh, food on my shirt. Give me a sec. Be right back. I didn't realize it. I don't know why the fuck I decided to see what this weird white shit on my fucking shirt was. It is icing from a, um, donut. Oh shit. Oh damn it. I had a I had a little bit of a snack before I started streaming today and didn't realize that I dropped some of this on some of the, the icing on my on my shirt. Okay. I'm coming back. Sorry guys. Both. I thought he already explained that. Uh, I mean, he, they kind of did, but like, I don't know. It, 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 you know, I'm going to steal third now. You're going to steal third. Like, it's, it, it's, it's interesting for, um, like, to think about it, I guess. Like, I, it, it's been kind of explained, so like, but, like, at the same time, hold on, okay, um, at the same time, I'm curious, like, okay, so being the Aegis's driver, buddy, <laughs> thank you for the bits, bud, <laughs> are you third place now, is that what you're trying to do, <laughs> on, on the, the bits, uh, person, on the, who's given the most, the most bits, third is yours, Welcome to third place. Let's go. So him being the driver of the Aegis, Malos, has given has granted him more lifespan, but he's also into line. So into lines get longer lifespans regardless. But I guess his is different because Malos. But I wonder if that also means Rex is the same thing. So Rex not only is the driver of Pyramithra, but he also has half of her core inside of him. So that's interesting to think about. We'll see. Maybe, may, and uh, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Honored guests. Oh, Fawn. And Fawn's also a, um, a, a blade. So where's your driver? Oh, wait, is your driver? Wait, is your driver that girl in the ice? Oh, it might be. It might be. It might be. It might be. You must be tired of today's event. So please rest here another night. She may have a point. All we did really was talk to the Praetor about this, but I feel quite worn out. Let's take them up on that offer. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Tor not object. Want to sleep on fluffy puppy bed every night. Let's return to the sanctum. Cool. Cool. I've got news. But did you hear it? I hope things went well. Mithra. The fuck are you doing, girl? Look how cute she's being. I love her. She has such a nice little personality on her own. Hey, Henny. Pick up the side quest, why not? Hey, can I ask you something? You're not that, you're not like that little girl, are you? I guess I can tell you then. There's this girl I've been spying on, Melika's a lot, Melika, a lot lately. There were some nasty looking guys with her too. Try to get closer to find out what she was up to. She just gave me the slip. Wish I could tell you more, but that's all I've got. Thank you. Oh, that's, a, that's that one quest. Uh, that one side quest I picked up a little while ago. Uh, do I need to go inside? I do, okay. Go in here. We shall go in here. Interesting. So uh, this is something I like about this lore right now is that it, it really brings up a lot of theories. Hello. Oh, I must be the travelers. Master Zeke was escorting. Welcome to the sanctum of Indol. Oh, I see. There's a salvager among your number. Praetor Amalthus himself used to salvage artifacts from all across all rats in his younger days. You know. Wow, pretty impressive. Cool, I guess. Um, makes sense. I mean, we did see the the, the salvager. Uh, what was it? Um. 
thingy, uh, the salvager uh, stuff. But I like this place. It's 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 really like it's it's giving you enough lore. Make some cool predictions. Hell yeah! It's see, it's giving you like that little bit of like of like little lore. They're like, here's some salt. Here you go. You eat up little birdies. Like here you go, and you get to theorize everything, and they're just gonna fucking hit you with the facts later on. And I like that's the thing I like about JRPGs. Is JRPGs do that shit. They like to come up to you, give you this world. You kind of make theories. You get more story. You enhance your theories. You turn them around a little bit. You change some stuff. And then they hit you with the lore. And you're like, holy shit. It's fun. I love it. Not a lot of them are correct, but there are some nice discussions. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You must be tired to your audience with Praetor on Malthus. We've prepped your rooms, and I hope you have a pleasant night's sleep. Go to sleep. Interesting. 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 Ooh, 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 it's the war. It's the war. What's happening over here? Hope this game isn't trying to take away Pyra from me. That would suck. I don't really have any good blades for Rex. <laughs> oh, it's Jin. Again, another character I'm not too sure about. Because they said they to him. So who is they? Mm. Still intact after all these centuries. Amazing. Who are you, Jin? Pinnacle of flesh eater technology. Are you a flesh eater? Nah. Tenacious creatures, humans. Oh, okay. Well, he's a blade. We know he's a blade of some sort. I'm so sorry to do this to you. Maybe he is a flesh eater. Because he's been around for, for a while, too. Ooh. Oh, shit. I guess this proves that he's a flesh eater, I'm assuming, of some sort. He's some sort of blade. Maybe he trapped the girl in the ice so he could live forever. Oh. I see. Very she well. could be the driver. Mm. It appears Senator Roderick paid a visit to the Praetorium last night. Off the Interesting. Did you know that? No. I haven't heard anything from His Majesty. She Why is. Now, they said that at the end of. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I can't imagine yeah. He was just paying his respects. That's right. That's right. She is you a driver. It's You're right. To do with the excavation, Temperantia. Mm. The issue His Majesty mentioned. If that is the case, he must be making covert deals with the Praetorium. Crush that man. Forever young. He wants to be for forever young. Well, he'll always be young. He's a blade. So he'll always be young. It's just he never wanted to die. Because if she died, he dies, essentially. And wipes all of his memories. That thing is so cool! Whoa! That's a big fucking titan, too. That's a war titan! A warton! Whoa, holy shit. Oh, Jesus. What kind of mech anime ass shit is this? Forever young. That is so badass. Do I get to fight that thing? Sincere apologies, everyone. But I it's cold in Bama today, is it? It's cold here, too. Please go to the audience chamber at once. It's like 29, I think, right now for us in Fahrenheit. Hey, my boys are back from the Merc group. Sorry to break up the 
the storyline, but I got I'm doing this just to get random EXP in the background as I play. Bloop, bloop. A finny turn complete. Let's go. Thirty nine here. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I wish it was thirty nine here. Jin went world of lights on your Raya, right? Right? Bruh. Jin is just fucking everybody up today. Uh. Hold on. Renowned Goods. Needs Knuckleballs and Bit Club. Bit Ball. Knuckle Clubs, Bit Ball. Bitball. There we go. I have any other. Don't think I have any other requirements to. Oh yeah, dude. There you go. I I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. Whoops. No no no. There we go. Hang on. My bad. My bad. There we go. Bad for Bama. I'm actually going to have to wear a jacket. Just see, what? You're going to actually have to wear a jacket? I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, if it was raining, it'd be pretty... I mean, it wouldn't even be that bad if it was raining either. Because it wouldn't freeze. That's not too bad. I, it's pretty cold for Bama, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, it, it's pretty fucking cold there. Or, or whatever, but... I'd rather be 39 here, to be honest with you, because then I could drive my car around instead of have to pay for Ubers <laughs> to go to work. Because <laughs> I still can't drive on the ice. I still cannot drive for shit on the ice. There's a Graveler in chat, everybody. Pokey Catch it if you really want it. Pokey Catch that Graveler! Alright. Hurry to the audience chamber with Praetor on Malthus awaits. So I'm assuming he's going to want us to go to the war, the, the war zone. That's going on, which is fine. I could get some fights in or whatever, get some EXP, level up a little bit, get shit going. This is all about lore today, guys. As you may know, there is a demilitarized zone between Moradain and Uriah. Uh huh. Think of it a between the two nations. Mm. We've received word of fighting in the area. Moradain are in possession of a Titan weapon. They're advancing as we speak towards the Uriah garrison. Impossible. Impossible. Well, the two countries' titans are at their closest right now. You're oh, shit. We were waiting for a chance to strike. Unthinkable. Our people would never go to war against his majesty's will. At any rate, we must invest. I mean, it's not you who's doing it, though. You're right. Got him! Praetor, I beg your leave. We need to find out what's going on. Your eminence. Thank you. I mean, but you your guys... Eminence, mm. We... Might I ask you to assist Special Inquisitor Morag in her investigation? Yeah, we might as well keep going you with the investigation. No refuse, and you needn't worry about me. I am quite grateful to hear that. Let's go after them. Hurry. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what all this shit's all about. I mean, we know what it's about, but they don't. They have no idea. Our information has changed. Give me back Torah, please. Uh, please come back to me, Tora. Thank you. Morag just said, I'm fucking out of here. Morag just straight up left. Senator Roderick. Okay, so right now, Jin seems to be attacking people. And, well, it doesn't look good because no one knows it's Jin. Nobody knows. He's not part of the, the Urian, uh government, so... That's war crimes to the highest degree. Who? Who's responsible for this? Preparations are still uh -huh. ongoing. If we attack now, we could. What have you done, Senator Roderick? Oh shit! Special Inquisitor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He's in trouble. The Emperor ordered that the dig be halted. He was very specific, Senator. If you restarted it, you have violated. His Majesty's will. 
Ooh. The Emperor doesn't understand Moradain's urgent lack of resources. Ah. Uh, this is for the Empire. Fuck the Empire. I'm gonna be honest with you. Fuck the Empire. It's touching. But that doesn't explain why you're waging war with Uriah. It wasn't me. I did not give that order. Then who was it then? Even I would oh. never dream of declaring war without His Majesty's express consent. So who in the Morag? Oh shit. Who? Who are these people busting in here? You want to fight me, this dog? I'll beat you right here. Of the Aegis. You are to afford him Yeah, to that's right. As me. Respect me, motherfucker. I heard the rumors, but this boy. Oi! There are rumors now. I'm more of a man than wow. you are. Am I really that famous? <laughs> oh, Do you have cute. any idea how much it costs to repair a water tower? It's a lot. <laughs> Oops. So less famous, more infamous. <laughs> Oopsies. Morag. Is Moradain really attacking? They are, as much as I hate to admit it. Ooh. Tell me, what's going on? I mean, you don't, they don't know the whole story, though. Tricky indeed. If this escalates into all-out war... The timing is all wrong. We can't win this fight. Not now. Sounds like you were planning to start this I mean, later. yeah, start they were trying later. to, it seems. Maybe save the accusations for now. No! Fuck saving accusa accusations! But the Empire never really wanted a war, did it? Yes, it did. That core crystal. Don't tell me you're the... Answer me! What? What do you mean? You should know I'm the Aegis. Right. Okay. Okay, fine. What? Mithra? Who stands to gain from an ardanian orion war? Torna. Who gains... You don't mean... Jin and Torna. Why is Jin separate from Torna now? But how? Maybe just coincidence after all? No. No, no I wish I could believe that. Inquisitor Morag, please. You are the only one who can put a stop to this. It's a bit late for that, don't you? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tad late. I'm not going to sit back and watch. Bridget? Right. Well, are we, are we going to stop a war single-handedly? Is that what we're going to do? Rex, this is an Imperial matter. We can't ask for your aid in this affair. Uh, too bad. Not if it's really a coincidence, like Tora said. But... If Tona are really involved, I mean, he's got a point. Problem too? I mean, it does, yeah. But think but what? of it as compensation for the water tower. I yeah, bring I up mean, the water tower. You look, you attacked so us. Noble, it hurts. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh. Very well. Can I ask you to help me again? Ooh, yep, Morag, I'd place. help you anytime you want, girl. You just give me the word. I'll accompany you. Yeah. What you fan? fan? What's happening in Temperantia right now? It's being led by a weaponized Titan, correct? My power uh -huh. doesn't only affect blades. It also works against Titans. Can you kill Are Titans? You certain I can be of assistance. Are you Besides, able to just to Besides? break them? Or at least shut them down, I guess. I have the strangest feeling that I'm somehow meant to be there. Yeah, because Jin's there. Fan Lenorn. You. Jin and, and that girl in the ice. Can't remember her name. So, how do we get to Temperantia? Well, as soon as Roderick is here, I assume there must be an Ardanian military vessel stationed at the port. Then, we go to port and get on Ardanian Titan battleship. Alright then, there's no time to waste. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Let's get in some fights. Let's fuck shit up. Alright! Let's get my team back together. Fuck yeah. Alright. Uh... Let's go. Let's go for it. I mean, I, I, I want to see this Titan, first off, up close and personal. Secondly, I really want to fight Jin. I kind of want to stick it to him right now. Like, I, I, I've i been itching to fight this motherfucker. Or whatever. And I want more lore. Damn it. Oh, oh. Hey... Remind me again where we bring in this fella. Oh, he's not that bad. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun? Yeah, what? 
What are you going on about? I've heard a lot about these Torna people. Uh huh. They're the ones collecting core crystals, yeah. I, I guess. And besides, of course. I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. How? Not when they're calling themselves Torna. <laughs> what does that mean to you? Charlotte. What what does Torna mean to you? Zeke? Zeke's on my team! I'm assuming he's an attacker, so I'm not switching him out. Oh wait, wait, I want to look at his character though. Can I look at his character? Wrong button, take a shot. Uh character. Zeke. He's a fighter. Yay! Look at him! Level 45 too. Ooh! Cool. Uh ow! Ooh! 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 Can I level shit up? Oh, I can. Get this. Yup. Level that bitch. Shield hammer. Increases damage up to launch enemies by 100%. Well, none of them get launched, though. So I don't really have anything. What, the, what does that do? Mountain Crusher. Increases... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You need that. Does this topple? No, it just does damage. Okay, well, here you go. Get that. And level that up. And we'll just... Sure, we'll just do that. Keep you nice and aggro. Oh, your bit ball. Why do you have a bit ball again? Who has bit ball? Oh, it's the girl. It's who has the bit ball on her team? No one. No one has the bit ball. Okay, okay, okay. We're not worried about the bit ball then. Um, enhance your arts. Can I enhance your healing halo? Fuck, I can't. I cannot do your healing halo. I want to save up. I want the healing halo leveled up, to be honest with you. Uh, what else do you use? The bit ball. Healing circle. Level that up quickly. Right here, right fucking now. Um, oh, yep. Heal that up, too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure she heals up everybody, dog. And I'll give you falcon turn healing uh, as well. Level that up, too. Falcon turn. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, me, on the other hand, the Aegis Sword. Ooh, double spinning edge. Give me that. Level up, baby. Uh, these, the dual sides. Cyclone Smash, Wing Smash, Vortex Edge. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll increase that. Give us more damage. Why not? Why not? I mean, it's good. And for you, let's level that up. Heavy hitter. Let's go. Cool. Uh, do I have any affinity for you? Uh, increase power attack. Okay, no. 2,500. Let's go. Get that leveled up. You. Uh, it's 5,000 for that. What was that? What in the world did you try to post, uh, Warren? Uh, da, 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 da. Body game with an excellent score during special. I want to give that. That might be actually pretty helpful, just because I want that to happen. You, I haven't done anything with yours. Uh, this one. This one's important. What do I need for this? One more skill to unlock. Okay, well, sure. Auto attack damage. Why not? There we go. You want art cancels uh, clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is, I believe, this... No. Uh, where is it? Oh, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one. It's a clip. Okay. There we go. Dexterity by 20? Sure. Agility? Yup. Cool. Yeah, I got the I got the art cancel uh, skill. I got that. I got it right here. Let's you dr uh, use a driver after canceling a driver. Art. I got you, buddy. I got you. Luck by twenty. Agility. Don't even know that. Um. Yep. Give her that one. Uh. Effective HP potions. Yup. Level that up. Alright, we can't level up anymore. Okay. 
Uh, and then Rex, I can't do anything with Rex anyway, so we're good. We're done. We're done. We got those. Uh, accessories were fine on. Arts were good. Let's keep going. Let's get to the storyline. You're heading to Temperantia. Well, just give the word and we can prepare a Titan ship for you. Are you ready? No. Let's sell it, sell it once. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get some fights. Let's get some actual gameplay. We got a bunch of lore dumped onto us. Now let's clean it up. Lady Morag, greetings. I have news from the front. Our Titan Ooh. weapon has crossed the central border. It's advancing at about 40 Titan pets per hour. 40 Titan pets. I want pets. to get in front of it. Is it a suitable place to dock? Probably not. Be fairly close by. Never mind, if I like it. there, you should be able to get to the cliffs above it. Ooh. Understood. Go. Yes, ma'am. I wonder how hard this fight's going to be. This, am, am I prepared for this? Probably not. I'm like, like low 40s. I feel like low 40s is a good place to be for this. Because the last boss fight was like 35, 36. So this has got to be like 38, 40. It's got to be, right? Right? Temperantia. Mm. This one could be pretty tough. I feel like it's going to be pretty tough. This seems like a really like big main boss battle. So like I don't doubt this one's not gonna be like difficult. So I'm 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 ready. I'm ready for this. We'll see how this goes. Also, collection point. You know I gotta do my collection point. I got I gotta grab what I can. Level 35 enemies. Again, I'm gonna fight enemies as I like go up there, just to give myself some like um, just to give myself a little bit of extra exp if I need to, and just to like test out damaging and shit like that. But I think I think we're fine. I think we got this and like not really in the bag, but. Enough to where I feel like we are going to do enough damage. At least something, you know? Uh, let's play with Rock for a little bit. I don't think I really need to play as Pyra and Mithra right now. Yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully. I have no idea. Well, I can't really do a smash attack, so... Uh, where's this Hogan? This Mogan. Mogan hot. Dude, do heat on him? Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Can't see it. Check your party. Alrighty, I will check my party in just one second. Boop, it's in rage. What do you uh, what do you want me to check my party for? What's uh what's the happenings in the party system? Boom! Is it, what's in chat? A cutie fly in chat! Okay, catch it if you really want it. Uh, wrong button, sorry. Take a shot. What do you mean check my party for? Are there active mods here? There is now. I, I think Rose is here. I think Rose is lurking. But now there's another one. Welcome in, Ro. How you doing? Ooh. Ooh. Look at your drivers. Oh, 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 okay. It's about Zeke. You got two streams to mod for? Oh, don't, don't stress. It's okay, Ro. It's all good, Ro. I see I see Zeke is here. You gotta check out the other one? Yeah, no problem. No problem. I don't want to, like, change Zeke, but I feel like level 42, 42, 46 is pretty good for now. Again, I'm gonna, like, fight for a while as well, just because I can. So, yeah. I also really like this party setup. I like having Morag. Honestly, she's pretty dope. Blah. You didn't get... Oh, the cutie fly escapade. Goodbye, cutie fly. Goodbye, cutie fly. Zeke is now on the team. You gotta use him at least a little. Well, who would I replace him with? Like... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't want to lose my healer, and I don't want to lose Morag, and I don't want to get rid of Rex. Zeke's on mean team. He's not mean. He's just he he was a he was our, our our teacher. He was testing us. Zeke's on mean team. He's chilling with Tora. Zeke beats all three combined. Really? Solo the game with Zeke. Solo the game with Zeke. No. <laughs> Do people do that? That's a joke. 
Other stream has active moderators and will go on for longer. So I'm good to chill here. What up? What's up, bro? I see that. I see that. I see that. That beautiful bottle. I see that beautiful bottle redeem. My beautiful, beautiful bottle. Uh, let me grab these items. Ah, give me the items. All right. Next redeem of that, I will refill this bottle. Because it is empty as a motherfucker. That's okay, because I have my beer. Not really a beer, but it's alcohol. It's good shit, too. However, I think you should consider swapping Zeke in with maybe Nia, because he is he's so cool. I might do that every now and then, but right now, I kind of just want to keep my, uh, my current team set up. The cooldown! It's okay. It's okay, bro. The cool I mean the cooldown. It's there. It's there. It's there for because of one reason, and that's because I remember it got spammed one time in chat, and I was like, well <laughs> fuck me up. Stench? What does stench do? I don't know why I keep doing the uh the that thing that I keep doing. Huh! Arman Balgas. Uh, let's do a burnout. Makes you stinky. <laughs> yeah, right? That's what we are. We're stinky, stinky boys. Nuclear blast. Do I have gold? Do I have gold? Nah. All right, we'll just do nuclear blast anyways. Nuclear blast. Boink. Boink. Hell yeah. Boom, bitch. Get fucking nuclear blasted. Stinky, stinky boys. <laughs> right? Oh, I didn't do it right. Whoops. Again, this is an easy fight right here. This is just a, this is our, uh, but bonk, who are you bonking? You bonking me? You bonking the enemy? Who are you bonking today? Bink. Flame bolt. Let's go. Oh, and you know what? Get toppled. Flame bolt, baby. Flame combo. Let's go, dude. Like a firestorm? Why not? Why not? Why not? Boom, bitch! Get fucked! That's so cool. Alright, so then I'm gonna come out blasted. Enemies, and maybe you a little. <laughs> you bonk at me and the enemies? Oh. But I've done. What the fuck's fighting me? A Froga! A Froga Guiana! Ow, that did a lot of damage. That did a metric fuck ton of damage. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, get fucking toppled, you bastard. Why you do so much damage for no reason? Excuse me? Get toppled again. Yeah, fuck you. Piece of shit. You spike damage? No, but I got healed, so fuck you. Bitch. Here. There we go. Or something else fighting us, too. That's fine. That's fine. Boom. I love playing with Mithra because if you upgrade her to a certain point, she can literally art spam. Really? Plant Scorpion. Yeah, Plant Scorpion is right. Plant Scorpion is fucking right. Get toppled. Keep... It's just stay dead. Just stay dead, baby. Moscow Ragul. Aqua that bitch. Why not? Do these enemies... Stand no chance against all of us. We are the strongest warriors in this game. Plant scorpion. It is a plant. It's a plant scorpion that, for some reason, shoots lightning. Because I guess why not? I mean, whoever the fuck sat there and was like, "I'm gonna make a plant scorpion that shoots uh, lightning at you," is kind of an asshole. Not gonna lie. It's like whenever you like. Like, imagine being the game developers for a From Software game. It's like, how can we fuck over players, like, as many times as humanly possible? I know! Let's just add in a fucking plant scorpion. A plant scorpion? Yeah, and the plant scorpion's gonna be massive, does a fuck ton of damage, and it's really fast. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I was playing Elden Ring with my friend and everything, and... We were literally just kind of chilling. Like, we were fighting. We killed some things. And then this fucking big-ass fucking, um, like, I don't know, zombie thing popped out of the wall and said, Oh, 
you look delicious, and ate my character. And I was like, bruh, where did you come from, asshole? Sounds about right, right? Like, I feel like if you had to be a game developer for From Software, I think one of the requirements is you have to just come up with the most dickish shit in the entire world just to throw at people and be like, yeah, go fuck yourself. Have fun. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not griping about Dark Soul games. I love them. I think they're really fun. I, for one, can't play them by myself. I had to play them with a friend of mine because my friend, not only is he good at the game, he teaches me stuff. Not only is he good, he teaches me stuff. He's also like a map dog dude. And I say that because this motherfucker plays the game once, memorizes the map like that. And he just knows where things are. It's fucking ridiculous. As long as it doesn't shoot electricity like that, Shadow of the Colossus, boss, I'm fine. <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus, I have ne I've seen that game. I've seen that game and I've not played it, but I have watched people play it. It looks so fun. It looks so good. But I ha I've seen a full playthrough of that, I believe. It's been a long time, though, since I've seen someone play it. Was the remake any good that they did? The redo, remake, whatever they um, did um, for the PS5? Was that shit any good? I didn't hear much about it when it happened, so... I'm not uh, sure if it was any good or not. Not sure if they fucked it up or not. I'd, pl I'd pay money to watch you play it on stream. No, they made a remake for, like, the PS5 or something? I think? Like, it's like a full-on remake? You'd pay money to watch me play it on stream. Why... What would it do? Well, the final fight was so stressful when you played it. Really? Is it that hard of a game? I've seen people play it and it didn't look that hard. It looked annoying though, with like like climbing and shit. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they like redid it for like PS5 or some shit not too long ago. It takes persistence. Oh, Plant Scorpion! Revenge! You messed up with the uh, freaky jumping. You lost a lot of progress. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Nope, you're not going to turtle head me, motherfucker. Bink. 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 Interesting. I know that, like, I've watched people play that game, and I've seen it where, like, they'll be fighting, and then they just fall off, and it's just, like, the most annoying thing. And that's probably why I've never played it. Because it looks really easy to just kind of fall. Wolfert, please. Oh god, he's like absorbing damage. I need you to stop that. I need you to stop that, motherfucker. Come on. Come on, come on. Ha! Boom, baby. Yes. Give me that money. Back to, back to my boy here. Come on, I don't know the timing yet. There's the timing. You learn to hold those bumpers like your life depends on it, which it does. Really? That's cool. Steve Bomb. Can I hit you while you're up there? Oh, well, oh, okay. I guess, I guess, I guess not. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a big boy attack. Let's go. Feather vein of pain. I'm sure that was that thing said move and not mine, but I like to think it was my move. <laughs> Diamond the Mist! Yeah! Let's go! Ah! There we go. Let's go! A big old shit moment. So, was big. Oh, uh, uh, was a big old shit moment. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a big old shit moment, though, when you climb the mountain and see this giant monster staring, staring you down with a thunderstorm going on. Excuse me? A thunderstorm going on? That sounds kind of dope, though. A big oh shit moment. That sounds so fucking badass. I like how Ro is like, I'll pay money to see you fucking play that on, st on stream. I don't know. I feel like that game would frustrate the living shit out of me. Because, like... Oh, have you not played... Uh, the game? I don't want to spoil it. It's a good... I've watched people play it. It's just been a long time. I just don't remember a lot of it. But I've never played, um, Shadow of the Colossus. Just a ghost of what it was meant to be. That's what I heard. It didn't get a lot of attention when it first came out, too, right? How awful. Mm. 
He got hit harder than Wind Waker. Did Wind Waker end up making a fuck ton of money after a while, though? Wind Waker was only hated because of its graphics at first. Listen, Everyone. I'm talking about the, the okay. cut content. Oh, this cut content! Ooh! My bad. Yeah, no problem, Alex. If you got something to do, buddy, go on. You got it. It's all right, buddy. Thank you for popping in, though. I always appreciate it. There's an Ardanium drive mechanism. If we can somehow... Oh, yeah. Connecting it to each leg, it's Wind Waker is missing a lot of its content. Why can't they just re-release Wind Waker with the, with the cut content in place? Good plan. Sure, that sounds like a feasible measure. Damn. That is, if we don't mind reducing the whole area to ashes. What do you mean? I read instruction manuals. They use it in other games. It's oh. It's my job to know these things. The weapon is powered by... This thing is so fucking cool. I'm so upset about it. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, Ro. Is completely Pain! The slightest shock and we have a giant explosion on our hands. Why don't we just like the open the ground and just drop it in there? Just three months ago, because we didn't see how unstable it was. If we just attacked without realizing that. Oh shit! Oh, damn it! Why make a weapon that dangerous? Why not, not make a weapon, weapon that dangerous? Inside enemy lines, destroying the weapon would destroy them too. It's like, why not have nuclear warheads? Given. It's dangerous it's so as fuck, cold, but it's almost impressive. It does shit. That's exactly why the Emperor called a halt to the excavation. They could still do it, but not with Nintendo's current. The control center is protected. Nintendo doesn't give a fuck about Legend of Zelda uh, fan base. I'm telling you. Or destroyed our law. But that like, don't get me wrong. It doesn't entirely. Don't get me wrong. Like, Tears of the Kingdom is gonna be cool and all, but I wish that we could have gotten like Wind Waker and shit on the Switch. Like they did with Mario. But you know they don't fucking care about us. Us fucking Legend of Zelda fans that like Legend of Zelda more than goddamn. I like Mario, but I'm a fucking Legend of Zelda fan. I want I want the Master Sword mounted on my fucking wall with LED lights surrounding it. There's a spot where the cliff juts out. <laughs> I just ranted. There, I'm sorry. We'll the Magnemite in chat. <laughs> fucking catch it if you really want it. They kill Paper Mario and then the Thousand Year Door and it killed me. Right. And we'd have to make it across. I love Paper Mario. I think it's so cool. Its attacks all the while. I'm watching Chuck Conroy play uh, the first game. It was set to release on my birthday. Oh. I'll stop the Titan moving. While it's stopped, you all jump onto its back. Hey, this is like this is like Shadow of the Colossus. All right. Then jump on the back and hit the weak points. You better be careful. Look at that. Comes full worry. circle. I will. Comes full circle. Go. Let's go. And they killed it. Spring 2020 W. 2020 2020 W. Thousand was a masterpiece. I've actually. So here's the thing with my, my, my thing with Paper Mario. I've only seen... 2022. Okay, understood. <laughs> I have only seen bits and pieces of A Thousand Year Door. I have seen a good chunk of the first game because I'm watching Chugga Conroy replay it or whatever. And play it. You want me to play it? I'm probably going to either play that game... One well, I can't. I can't play it. You want to know why, Ro? I don't have a GameCube. Switch doesn't have GameCube shit. And that's and I and emulating a GameCube is annoying as shit. I don't have a GameCube, and there's nowhere here that sells GameCubes. It's a problem. It's a it's an issue. The problem with Nintendo is Nintendo. Well, they're better than Sony when it comes to what is it? Um. What's the word? Like, preserving games? Like, there's, there's, like, Nintendo is a little bit better at preserving old games and re-releasing them sometimes. But, like, that's, they need to, re they need to give us a way to play GameCube games on the Switch. What's the, what are you asking, Ro? What is the what of the states? The what? The what? What's the... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, bro, what? What are you asking me? <laughs> Craigslist, Craigslist. I am not gonna buy something off Craigslist. Fuck that noise. 
I am too scared to buy anything off Craigslist. Facebook Marketplace? Maybe. But even then, they're going to overcharge the shit out of me. People are going to overcharge for those things, regardless. That's the issue. $200 on Amazon? What the fuck that? What the hell? $200, though? It's 50 bucks I would pay for a GameCube. I'd pay $50 for a GameCube. And 50 Canadian is like, what, 42 USD? Something like that. Excuse me. Nuclear blast, please. Blade combo. Boom! Hell yeah! Come here, you fucking scorpion plant bitch. Bolt. Ow. Boy, don't look at me, bud. There you go, reduce that. Flame Bolt, there we go. It's like 40 USD, yeah, yeah. There used to be a place where I lived, uh, back in my hometown, where we had a place that would sell GameCube for like $45 USD. And I didn't buy one because I didn't have the money at the time. And now I regret it because now they sell them. They still sell them, but I'm not gonna fucking get Canadian GameCube for, for birthday. Use the choo-choo money. <laughs> right? Right? Use the choo-choo money. That money went into my rent. Not gonna lie. That money went straight into my rent uh, account. Almost there. So, if any money that you guys honestly give me on here goes to my rent and my electricity mostly. I usually don't buy things for myself with that money. The money I make for my job, I'll buy, I use it to buy stuff for myself. Fair, yeah. So just, just always know that any money you guys give me does straight up go into my living expenses <laughs> right away. It goes into an account. If I could give you a game, if I would. Rose has um, talked to me about giving me uh, or, or letting me borrow, I think, a Wii U. Or a Wii? I can't remember which one it was. It was Wii or Wii U. And uh, for me to play uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Wind Waker because those are the two games I hold dear to my heart. Like, out of all the video games in the world I've ever played, Wind Waker and um, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are, like, near and dear to my heart. Can I just fight this thing instead? No? Okay, I'll fight this thing then. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll go there. No, 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 fight the Azimuth Core. It's not for yourself, though. It's for the stream. Can't re- uh, God, if I could give you a game card, I would. I can't relate for that. Wii U is better than Wii. Wind Waker? Ah, oh, I still cry about that damn game. I love that game. Not every- uh, Every time I finish it, I cry. It's not for yourself, though. It's for the stream. Yeah, but it, it um... It, again, mo any money I get will be- given to my uh to my living expenses right away that's just how i view it i feel like i need to fight this thing and just not worry about the other thing i love wind waker wind waker is literally like my heart forever Do I oh i get health potions from doing this okay i'm just gonna fight this thing i feel like this is more important to fight than the uh actual thing Bink. Uh, bake. Oh, it's weak to it's weak to rock. So let's just go ahead and do that. Give it pandemic. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pandemic. Ah! Whoa! You play uh, Wind Waker on Wii. It has to be either the original uh, GameCube disc or it's a Wii U. Right, right. Yeah. Yep, that is true. And I think Rose has a. Copy of of one of them. I don't I don't remember which one. I think she has the Wii U version, which fine with me. I'll play whichever version. Like I love Wind Waker so much and Twilight Princess. They live on forever in my life. Final disaster. Hell yeah, do it, do it, do it. Hup. Third stage, baby. Ooh, shit. Boom. 
Boom, baby. Ice it. Ice it. You know what? You know what? Chain attack. Let's do this. The um, Thousand Year Door is a masterpiece. Really? If only we lived in the same town. I know. It's I know war. I know. I know. If only, right, buddy? Do you have a GameCube, Warren? Or like um, something similar? Or like a Wii U or a Wii? Magnificent. Uh, Bridget, Bridget, Bridget. Burst, baby! Elemental Buster! All right, it's weak to it's weak to ground, so. Boom! Oh, that did so much damage. They took the limitations of the time and turned them into a graphical asset that added to the experience. The dialogue, the story, the punnings, the Easter eggs. I love the art style. I love, love that shit. I, I honestly, I really like Paper Mario as a whole. Again, I'm re really enjoying the first game from what Chugger Conroy has played. It's been amazing. One of the be most best loved games I've ever played. Interesting. Interesting. Overkill start, baby. Uh, Bridget again. Bridget's easy. Can we keep it going? No. Chain attack finish? Alright, cool. Was that all I need to do? Did that shut off the thing? Fuck yeah. And Nintendo just doesn't care. You can tell the developers love the game so much and Nintendo just doesn't care. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I haven't seen the other Paper Mario games. I heard the last one wasn't that bad. Origami King. Yes. Seems like it. It's you. But again, I'm I'm not a I don't know anything about the game, so. Jin. Jin. I knew it. So this is Jin, leader of Torna. Yep. I am Fan Lenorn. Fan Lenorn. Of Praetor Malthus. I have an N64 GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and Switch. You have all the good shit, Warren. Woo! That you should speak his name with that face, oblivious to everything. The problem is, identity. I needed, I needed my, I, I got my Switch. I didn't get rid of my Wii U for it. About... And I'm sad about it. And you, Aegis. Don't you dare. So when Final Fantasy IV, uh, 14 like comes out, I'll probably get my first ever PlayStation. Oh, 16. All right. Ooh. Tell me this. Why are you who fought alongside us to defeat Malos now? Is that not gonna be on PC? His side? Jin fought against him. Yep. It's very simple. I realized he had the right of it. That's all. Jin. I have my 3DS somewhere, I think. I don't think it's as simple as that at all. So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. Sorry. That's just the way I am. I'll get to your Mitra, chat in just a second, Ro. Don't tell me. <laughs> yes. He's a blade too. He is a blade. He was the strongest blade in Torna. Ah! He fell in the war. Okay. It fell. Says the girl who sank it. A blade. Who's your driver? Is it the girl? Stronger. It's gotta be. None kinder, well, it makes sense. The girl can can have two, just like no me. One who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jin? What changed? Yes. What if I told you? It was your fault. Oh shit! Mine. If you hadn't sealed yourself away. Uh huh. Then she'd still. Yep. Okay. So it's the girl in the ice. I was right. I was right. So that's it. I was right. What what does taking off your mask do? It's a crystal on his head. A color. It's like blood. He's the flesh eater. It's gotta be. Put away your sword. So maybe he's not a flesh ability is to restrict a blade's every action. As long as you are a blade, there is nothing you What if he's a special blade? Its clutch. Wait, restricting blade's powers. Then before, was that Go ahead and try. 
He's different. Oh, dude, he's so cool. Can I pause this? Can I pause this? I can forget the chat. No? Okay, well, fuck me. He's level 40. Let's go. All right, let's topple him. He's built different. He is built way different. Yeah. There's no way that he's going to be, like, simple. I feel like there's so much more to him than this. So, okay. So, my theory... So, I did... I, I think I think me and Alex were talking about that. We were talking about how, like, we know that he's a he's a blade. And that his, his driver is the girl in the ice. That's his driver. And she is, I guess, normal? Like, she's a human? I, I say normal as in, like, with lifespan of a normal human being. But still, what the... Oh, shit! I can get Bobby Mega Explosion out if I do this right. Come here. Topple. Burnout. Let's go. Alright. Alright. Hang on. Hang on. We'll, we'll get Mega Explosion in just a second. Here we go. Alright. Change the Pyra. Change the Pyra. Come on. Come on. Level 4. Level 4. Level 4. Level 4. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Level 4. Yes! Let's go! Boom! Mega explosion, baby. Hell yes. Oh, he's got a fucking red core crystal or a red symbol on his face now. Whoa, 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 what's he doing? Cold snap, cold snap him, cold snap him. So he's just been stuck waiting for her to, for eons? I think he did it for, I think he, he froze her on purpose. I think. I think he did it on purpose. I think he's the one who made her, uh, who made her, um, who made her into ice. Because he's 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 got ice abilities. He's definitely an icy boy. He's definitely an icy boy. Yeah, he's icy. He's definitely ice. He's gotta be. Like his color palette just screams ice. It just screams it. I think he did it because. When the the war happened between Mithra, um, and 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 Malos or whatever, he decided to freeze her to uh, to I don't know to to because he wanted to help Malos because he 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 changed sides. He was on their side for like the first, and then changed sides to Malos because he saw what he was doing was more right and more righteous for some reason. Maybe she was mortally wounded, and that was the only way he could help keep her alive. Maybe, maybe that could be that could be facts. That could be true. I could see that being the case. We'll see. We'll see. When we get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. He keeps doing that shit. I hate that. Ah. Steam bomb, steam bomb, steam bomb, steam bomb. Do this. And we'll get to level four and we'll do steam explosion. Steam explosion. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Boom, baby. Dude, these fucking... Oh, my God. These combos are so good. I love this game so fucking much. It's so fun. Dude, like, just being going back and forth between, like, different, like, elements and shit is so good. It's so fun. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, baby. I think probably we're both right. If Mithra actually wounded her, and then he had to put, yeah, he had put a crystal. But what's his thing on his on his on his on his head though? What is with the the? Is that maybe Malos's? Uh, oh, that could be Malos's like core, like a piece of his core, kind of like how I have um, how I have um, what's her name? Uh, Pyra's and Mithra's. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Woo. Ooh. Did the rock rough escape? It did. All right, we're gonna do another steam explosion. In just a second. Here we go. Here we go. Level four, baby. Level four. Level four. Steam explosion. Let's go. Burning sun. Yeah. Boom. Explosion. You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Chain attack, baby. Let's go. Man. 
Hell yeah! Uh, Boris. Overkill, baby! Bridget, please! Bridget's easy. Burst off. <laughs> Let's go! Give me that overkill, baby! Ooh, give me that bonus EXP! Let's do it! Bing! Uh, Cassandra. Cassandra, why not? Superb! Boom! Let's go! GG's! GG's! How? How is he still moving? Even that Petroka girl couldn't withstand it. No, it's working. His powers are certainly limited now. But Jim, he's one of the most powerful blades in history. Ooh. Even so, we can beat him. We just have to work together. Power of friendship! So. No! What? Fun! You are no slave. Be free now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You kill a blade that way? <gasps> you were right. You were right, Ro. Mortally wounded. You saw that. One for Ro right there. One for row. Right in the core. No. No. Why? Anime. Jin! Why the hell would you do this? What good does it do you? Why, you ask? Oh okay. shit. Let me ask you this. Blades are granted phenomenal power from our creator on high. Yet we are okay. doomed to never remember. Well, what? yeah. What? what? For the, the best. The of memories is what allows mankind, no, all life to grow, change, evolve. But you can't evolve. Blades are fleeting. Because this shit right here. To our cores, our memories are lost. Our growth snatched. But you can grow anew. You can be evil and then be good the next life. Man's life too has an end. Yes. However. Each individual life is fleeting. Ooh, you pass on your memories, allowing you to grow as a species, as a culture. Why does Indol control all the core crystals? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Indol decrees it. Oh shit, he's got because points. That's what your kind do. Oh, I agree a little bit with him though. Why are you the masters and we the slaves? It is we who embody the very nature of this world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you... Oh, if you saw what? the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. But I'm afraid your journey ends here. Oh, icy boy! Oh, uh oh! Power! Why now? Hey, now's our chance! Huh? What are you standing Sh around for? Strike him down Shut again! Scumbag, what's what? What? It's Akos. Malos sent me. Time to make an exit. Oh, it's Apollo! <laughs> Sorry, I saw the bow. Who says cool. we're going to let you go? <laughs> you really don't understand, do you? You really think this is over? What the? Interesting. How? We cut the bloody cable! Certainly. But some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. Oh shit! <laughs> Too late, right? Are we the baddies? See, well, that, that's that's busy. a good question. I'll leave you to it. Bye. He makes a valid argument. 
about about blades and how they're a slave to the drivers. He makes a valid argument. I kind of agree with him now. Now that I think about it. It's more complicated than good or bad. You're right, exactly. I agree. Now I have to fight this fucking ugly thing. Now we gotta fight this fucking ugly thing. It, it, it's very interesting. So, what he was getting at was... He's, he's fighting for, essentially... Blades to be able to live. Live freely. But there's an issue with that, though. So... The way Blades live is with humans, or their people. It's like Elden Ring in anime form, story-wise. Interesting. So, so here's the thing. What he's going with is, it's not fair that we get to choose how a Blade's gonna grow. That's that's his problem, and, and I agree with that. But here's the other issue to, to, to come up with. People have to die. If the, if the way that the gods made you in this world were you guys would become cores every time a human dies if we use you. So the problem persists of, well, humans don't live forever. Sorry. Lost my train of thought there. Blades don't, I mean, blades live forever, but humans do not. So the only way to make it to where blades aren't technically enslaved in this scenario is if humans live longer or live forever. But that just can't happen. The only way to do that is what he did. He encased that girl in ice because she got mortally wounded, as we saw. So, the issue that persists now is, okay, your 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 idea is, can, can you, as a blade, make another blade come to life? But then there's the problem of, okay, you do that... If your human dies, because you're a blade, so therefore a blade is going to be a, comp a, a driver has to accompany you. If he dies, you go away. Does the other one go away too? That's another problem. So the point of his of his argument is that he's tired of being the quote unquote slave to the to the driver, and that the the blades don't get to have their own freed will essentially, which is fucked. Don't get me wrong. But like, how do you how do you counteract? How do you counteract that? You know what I'm saying? You you really just can't, unless there's something we could do maybe with the architect, which another another way would cause them to where we could. Again, I have no idea. But yeah, I could see us being the bad guys in that scenario to the blades because that's how all arguments and like fights and all this stuff exist. Is there's there's always a bunch of sides to a story, and regardless, just like in war. Each side thinks they're the good guy, no matter what they're doing. But that's the problem. So now we have no idea really what to do in that scenario. You understand? Does that make sense? Or is that just blabbing? <laughs> did I just kind of blab on? I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's a very interesting topic to think about, though. I really like that idea. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the story progresses. Let's get Pandemic going. I dig it, yeah! I dig it too. I think it's a really interesting interesting way to look at it with the Blades and like what they feel. Because we're not really, we haven't really been worried about how they feel. We've just been kind of doing our own damn thing the whole time. Like we really haven't really even thought about how the Blades feel because the Blades have, have consciousness. Which is pretty fucking cool, honestly. Uh, can we get uh, someone to take this, please? There we go. Thank you! Found disaster! Final disaster! Blade combo. Blade combo! Boom. So there's blades that are like your sword and they come to life when you die. So, no. So, when you die, the blade you have goes back into the core. Into its core crystal. And it loses all of its memories and everything from its life that it had with you. So once someone opens up that, that core... It's as if it, uh, it's, it's being reborn into a world. But it has no idea of its original owner, essentially. And that's the problem he's having. Because what he's going with is, he's like, well, Blades, get, every time their driver dies, they reset. So they don't get to grow as an individual. That's the problem he's having. I think we can probably take this thing out now with a chain attack. But yeah, that's the issue he's going on about. Uh... A 
probably shouldn't have done this. Oh, okay. oh, damn, I did enough damage for that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Boreas. Elemental Burst! Good. Yeah. Huh, easy fix. He shouldn't see it as one continuous existence. He just lives multiple unrelated lives. Right, but his problem is, is that, that's, that's what I was getting at. So, technically, if you think about it, it can, the, the blade can grow and be separate personalities throughout each of its lifetimes. It's basically ideas of reincarnation. Correct. So what a blade can do is, okay, say the blade was used for evil for like hundreds of years, right? Well, the blade then, if that if the, the driver dies, the evil driver, and say a good person, a more moralistic choice person, a more of a hero type, picks that blade up that was once used for evil, he can use it for good. And, he, and the blade will not be evil because the blade won't have any memories of its past. But at the same time, which at that point would make the blade grow into a moralistic choice person. But if that person, good person, dies and say another evil person takes it up, well, kind of SOL at that point. Yeah, if it was used for evil in the past, that has no bearing on the next incarnation of the blade. Exactly. Correct correct it's exactly how it is viewed Boop. excellent uh can't use boreas oh sorry i guess i guess i fucked this uh this chain attack up at the end oh i fucked the blade the combo up at the end oh no didn't no didn't no didn't no didn't bridget oh i can't use bridget cassandra can you do damage can you do damage Can you do it? Elemental Burst! Let's go! Super! Yes! It's unrelated. That dude is just mentally ill. Huh? Could be. Could be. But also, that dude's been living for like 500 years. I feel for him, though, but he's just wrong. I feel for him. And, and, and again, it's, it's just his ideas. And I, I understand where he's coming from. He just wants to... He just doesn't want to have to reset his memories because because here's the problem with as well with the memories. So some blades fall in love. So most likely Jin fell in love with the with his driver. And he doesn't want to lose those memories. So really he's fighting out of selfishness and love at this point. And I guess Malos maybe had an idea to fix his issue. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I mean as we get more into the story, we'll find out. That's the problem with living forever, yeah. Yeah. I can agree with that. Elemental Burst! Oh! Uh, Godfrey. Overkill start, baby! Oh, I guess I can't do the big boy attack? Okay. Look at all this damage I'm doing. I am back. Welcome back, bro. It's like a perverted love. Who wrote this story? I don't know. Insert Japanese developer. Is it a Final Fantasy writer? I mean, it could be. I don't really know if um, Mon Monolith Soft has any Final Fantasy writers. I wouldn't doubt that they didn't get... I'm, I don't doubt that some writers from Final Fantasy like are part of Monolith Soft. I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't doubt it like at all. I would not put it past this game to have them. Three hundred and nine thousand, baby! Let's go! Woo! Shit! Jolteon was caught by Warren. Good shit, buddy. Mm. Our girl's dead. Right. Right in the core. I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. But Is she really dead though? Anything. Why did this stab her in the core? Nothing's changed. Well, you can I'm kill just blades. Weak, as I've always been.
You think it could store trauma? Hmm. Interesting take. To make you like this. What is that? That is an armada. That, that is a fleet. Ryan army. Summon oh shit. Uh oh, war has begun. War, war never changes. At this rate, I don't think there's any stopping them. We should get the fuck out of there. They think more Arden attacked them illegally. War crimes. Declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on, how is this going to stop that? time for that. War were declared. We get the fuck out of there! Fuck this! I don't want to be here. Bru Bruh. Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Oh shit! This is gonna be awesome. More Ardain also readying artillery. What are you gonna do, Rex? We're not gonna make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. How? Wait. How? Oh shit! It's the whole nani. fucking nani, nani. It's the whole fucking titan. It's the pray the, the fucking guy, Imperium, Imperial guy, pray pray it's his mouthless, pray it all. Dude, he's gonna fusro doll these motherfuckers. Chapter five, masters and slaves, complete. Let's go. Noni, non deska. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, I leveled up. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. I want to see what's happening. Go, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's we'll see it. Let's we'll see it. God, game on the fucking dialogue box. Chapter six, wounds. Okay, here we go. Past time. There's a the little girl. There she is. Getting, I guess he's getting summoned by her. Oh. You little scamp. Do you know how much the core you took was worth? I stole it from the castle. Oh, shit. Years it took me to get it. And now. Oh, shit. Oh shit! She's barely ten years old. Silence. Stay out of it. Oh. Trigger warning, I should say. Oh, it'll be as good as new. You brought this on yourself. What a cunt! Good luck killing her, right? Yeah, she's still alive. From now on, I'll protect you. Oh shit. I'll keep you safe. Always. That's My actually a very interesting Jim. word. What's yours? <gasps> his his little diamond, it's blue. On his head right here in the past. Laura. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I thought. LOL. It seems like sending Arcos was the right choice. They can explain the red core You're crystal. Right. I've been through worse. I can handle it. Jim. I swear I'll make your dream come true. So he has the dream. So stop putting your So Malos, yeah, so that's what I said. Malos is like, I can make it work. Thanks. I can make it happen. Still. So time is that part of your dream too oh shit what are we to the memory at? maybe this hunger i feel this thirst is it really my own or is it someone else's sometimes i can't tell Ooh. 
Tell me, Jim, are you really here? Mentally, is he there? I don't know where I really am. What? You're starting to sound like a human. Well, he's lived for oh. fucking ever, so it must well be at this point. Perhaps we're not so different after all. Humans and blades. Interesting. I mean, you can die just like a human can if we stab you in the heart, it seems. It seems like, okay. Maybe he took some of his core crystal and gave it to her to heal her. And that's why his core crystal's red. It's like her life force, her blood, essentially. Lana, I believe was her name. These ridiculous ass fucking back guard. And that's why I freeze. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it didn't work, and that's why I freeze. Maybe. Maybe. Like it worked with Rex, but what if he didn't get there in time? Well, it worked with Rex because um because Pyra is an Aegis. Jin is not an Aegis. He's not one of them. He's just a normal blade. Well, a rare blade. Smile, Saga, you're on my stream right now. Yeah, let's go. Streamception. How you doing, Viridian? Hi, everybody. A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor on Malthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Streamception. Does he have any clue how to do this? If those Ardanians get away with this, I could tear damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. Oh. You got that right. These little fucking well, turtle boys. Cannon fodder to the big wigs. Chat says hi. Hi, and chat. Jump, <laughs> Welcome to the chaos. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Morning, folks. Everyone sleep well? I I don't know if I could fucking sleep after all that shit. Done with Sanic? Not a wink. Yeah, I feel like I feel like all that shit we just did, I wouldn't sleep for a while. That was fucked up. First off, first off, Fawn is dead or stabbed. I don't know if she's dead. She didn't disappear. She didn't turn into a core crystal because she is a blade. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I won't be staying long since I'm going around checking out other streams while I'm streaming. Understood. Also, chat has something to say to you. Me? Did you ever taste lechonk bacon? It's so lechonky. Hey, let's go. You know what? I'm going to be real with you. If I was in the Pokemon universe, I would want to probably kill lechonk and eat it. I mean, come on. So, like, lechonk has the bacon. Tropius has the bananas. Y'all know I like bananas. I mean, I have one banana left. See, look. I got me a banana left. Look at that shit. Shit look good. It's nice and fucking ripe. Um, that's the word for it. And then, and then, if you think about it, Fido, the little, the little fucking cute little dough boy, bro, he just gives you fucking cinnamon rolls. What the fuck? Hell yeah, dude! I'd get so fucking. I'd be fed like a king. Up in uh, up in Pokemon universe, figured as much. Let's take a nice walk over the hall where the emergency summit's being held. Clear our heads a little. <laughs> Comedian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Look, you, we would be eating pretty good. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of the Pokemon look kind of kind of delicious. You can't tell me you haven't sat there and was like, yo, I wonder if like a Salamance steak would be fantastic. You can't. Look, look. I live in a world where I'm like, because uh, look, have y'all ever seen Torico? You ever watch Torico? That motherfucker goes around, beats up animals, and fucking eats them and shit? <laughs> I mean, come on! Not a fan of lizard meat? Aw, oh, yo, I love crocodiles, so... People eat Pokemon. They have to! They have to! Bananas wrapped in lechonky lechonk bacon? Ooh, that sounds good as fuck. And you have the ice cream Pokemon! Bro, you put you get you take you take a little bit of his fucking head and fucking <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you probably the best damn sweets. All right. 
That's why Farfetch is almost extinct. See? Dear God, look, look. You you can't. Okay, look. I, that's it. We're we're all we. A big anime idea. It's Pokemon, right? It's kind of like Pokemon, but we can't use Pokemon because we'll get sued up the asshole, right? Listen to this. But it's like Pokemon and Toriko. You have this fucking guy, right? And he's a chef. The whole point of him is he goes out into these dangerous wilds, fucking grabs these motherfuckers, fights them, right? Like cool ass fight scenes, like Pokemon with One Punch Man style fight scenes, right? And then he fucking eats them and get more powerful. Bootleg Pokemon Food Wars. Let's go! <laughs> I think I'd be perfectly capable of fighting my own way. No, Morag, Morag, listen. You have to come with me. I have a request, and it involves your feet. What the hell is this? Hey, it's me brainwa brainwashing, <laughs> brainstorming ideas for a new anime that everyone would freak out about. I'm telling you. Comedian God! Look, look, I haven't talked about feet this whole episode. I have to do it. I want her to call me mean, la mean names. I like it when she insults me <laughs> regarding Julia from Deathloop. <laughs> dude, dude, she was so degrading. I loved her. She would degrade the fuck out of me, dog. It was great. It was great. I would love to stay and watch more waifus, but I'm gonna go now before things get really out of hand. Bye! Thank you for popping in, Viridian. Also, chat says Pokemon X Food Wars equals 1 10 out of 10. Food Hentai! Yes! I love it. I love it. Food hit. We're making it where it's going to happen. Who can draw and who can come up with a storyline? Because I can do neither. <laughs> and Mithra's meant to be attending too, right? Apparently, yes. Well, we might as well all head over. Oh, we get some food. Speaking of food, I have someone in chat who can draw. Let's go. Let's go! See? See? It's all coming together. Let it be known that Twitch chat is going to make the greatest manga of all time. See? I refuse to be involved any further. No, bro, you have to be. You have to be involved now. I regret my involvement thus far. No, bro, you're gonna- come on! You could say you refuse to be involved, but you already are. We have the chat. Also, what's oh, it's an Asmeril in chat, everybody. Poke catch, really want it. <laughs> All right, later, people. Bye, Viridian. Thank you for popping in, buddy. Team Sakia Merc Group at bat. Nailed it. Good shit, Warren. Bye, bye. Take care. Take care, Viridian. All right, let's do this. Uh, this next bit of dialogue and uh, see where it leads us. See if we get any extra story bitty bits. I want some more story bits. Like, I'm really fucking, like, itching for more lore, but I don't know how much lore we're gonna get after this. I wonder more about the fucking... the red diamond, because it was originally blue in the past. We saw that. We saw it was blue, so... I kinda wanna see what's the ha what's the happenings here. Yeah, 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, also, I've I've been playing. Let me let me stop here real quick before we get into the lore. I've been playing Fallout New Vegas again lately, right? And I literally went to a um, I like made my character full intelligence build with an emphasis on barter and guns and speech, right? And pretty much the first thing I did as soon as um, Sunny Smiles gave me my first gun, even though I already had um, I had the nine millimeter submachine gun and the nine millimeter pistol. I basically went out. I killed all the powder gangers, went back to Good Springs, and killed every fucking last person in there, and then walked away and went to Prim, and I've eradicated everybody there. Whoops. Nice thing about an empty Pokedex makes it really easy to check if you made the catch. That's very true. But good catch, Warren. Through here is the venue for the Summit of Nations. I must apologize, but entry is forbidden to all but the official representatives of each nation. I guess it's as far as we go. Yes, Bridget, and I will proceed to the summit. I'm coming with you. Thanks! Yeah. And so are you, Mithra, remember? I guess. I'm not sure I like it, but I suppose I'll have to play my part in all this. You're gonna have to. Rex, you head back to your chambers with the others and wait for us. Aw, uh, she said our chambers. I pay. What's wrong, bro? What's wrong? No problem. But I want Mithra. And I want Bridget. And I want fucking... Oh, imagine. Mommy Morag. 
Bridget, and Mithra, all three of them stepping on me. I'd be one happy man. They could all say mean things. The whole time! Call me their little piggy. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Be careful in there, okay, Mithra? My body. Comedian, simmer down. No, it's getting hot in this bitch. I gotta take off my clothes. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, I'm sorry that your body's in uh, pain, Ro. I'm sorry. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Oh, I hope you get to feeling better. For realsies. <laughs> also, I blame a little bit of the alcohol that I'm ingesting. you for agreeing to this ceasefire. Queen Rakula. Emperor Nile. Queen Rakula. As I recall cool from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, this bitch the Praetorium is was to refrain history. from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. Because this war is bullshit. But I trust you have a suitable justification, your enemy. Anyways. <laughs> Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, uh -huh. may I present Nira Nira. Acting Nira Nira! Some trade guild. Ah, oh, Nira Nira! Furthermore, representing the Tantalese. My boy Z. His Highness the Crown Prince Ozikyrus Brunev Tantal Ozzy? will also be attending. How many fucking syllables was that? The Crown Prince, the Prodigal Prince of Tanta. <laughs> Ro knows. Ro knows. Get blown by a lizard. <laughs> I'll call Mark Zuckerberg all day for that one. As long as he pays me millions of dollars, I'll let him blow me. I'm single. I can do that. <laughs> what a spectacle. Seems the Praetor has as much clout around here as ever. Calm down, Jojo ripoffs. Could we not just take them out here and now? She looks like a Jojo character. Point. All the principal nation's heads gathered here. What's that girl's name from Jojo? From like... The, the uh the joseph season be before they did the stands when they were still doing uh harmon wiping out mankind is the easy part we could manage that ourselves even so i think it was like jessica or something that isn't our only goal this four eye motherfucker we must wait for the stage to be set i don't like this guy this guy pisses me off is jen serious about this i will definitely look at your clip yeah i've been wondering that myself Oh, he's serious. He always is. I will look at it in just a sec. Let's finish this uh, real quick and then I'll, I'll react to it. And then... He will kill the architect. Why are we gonna kill the architect? I don't wanna kill... Do I have to kill God again? Jeez. JRPG, let's go. Now, it seems... Excuse me. More Ordain has been accused of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. A girl's from Kill a Kill? Emperor Nile. I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to That's say? A good anime. It's a good While anime. we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it did it like three times. Be denied that weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Right. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance. We oh yeah, she's like the the, the principal of the school. Grave offense. Ah, yeah. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. Oh? To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offenses does not lie with your majesty at all. It doesn't. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? Yeah. I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. There's multiple witnesses. And that would be? Uh, Lady fucking Morag? The goddess herself and Zeke. And Zeke. We'll let Zeke have it too. What a preposterous notion. Preposterous! The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of. It's the truth. <laughs> and Zeke. I, Ozyclirus. Ozyclirus! this in the name of King Eulogimonus Tuntal. All these syllables. Firm, ex chairman Banner, give these people some kind of supplies. <laughs> Military supplies, methinks, and in great number. 
Yes. Yes, like great would... number. What if? How about that? I were to tell you that the Aegis Malos, Malos, who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved. Ridiculous. Everyone Preposterous. Ridiculous. Flame. He's very much alive. He's alive. Yeah. Aegis don't die so quickly. Soul, I mean, the Aegis has confronted uh. us in person. Multiple times. Multiple and times. If my word is not enough for you. How about the other Aegis herself? Big Booba Mithra. Look at that. She got the dude. She got the big dick energy walking in this damn room. Hell yeah. Fucking V on her fucking forehead. Let's go. A blade. But but that the boobs. Oh, poor crystal. Sorry. This is another Aegis, named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely? Yeah. So she the fought. rumors that reached us were true. Who is its it? driver? Excuse me. You that? I dare say you're surprised. Respect her pronoun. Later. It's her. She even but says that it. That is not the matter we Respect. are here to discuss, Your Highness. What an Aegis situation. Ooh. Two Aegises. Keep cutting back and forth in this character. Six o'clock already. What? How, how do you know what time it is? In there for a long do you have a time fucking now? clock? We've just got it twisted. They're dealing Using with the, the leaders of all nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. Don't think they call Mithra an it. I don't know why that made me so mad. <sighs> a sigh! <laughs> okay. I think you just put Ugg as the fucking subtitles, not sigh. But okay, I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. Okay. I think I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. <laughs> I mean, he can't use the full extent of his powers. It's dehumanization. The dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. What does he want to do with Elysium? He wants to destroy? go back to the place he was born. He can heal. Oh. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. Okay. Okay. If Malos is allowed to restore himself. Uh huh. The horrors of five centuries past will return. But I'll just destroy the four more stone. continents. It's fine. Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Mm -hmm. Why would anyone desire that? Oh, Perhaps you're asking. Really need a reason. I'll explain like after this. Drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. I'll explain the Aegis after this, unless, Ro, you want to explain it. All of this is my responsibility. Traitor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? I thought you were making fun of a comedian. Other than I, who awakened Malos you don't fucking know? Oh, okay. Upon the world. So, your eminence... The rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... He's still the driver. I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. As Blade Plus. I, I, yeah, I, I was that a way. fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. Ah, uh, again, he's an Aegis. He's not a, he's not a human. He's fucking way stronger, so, you know. He's... The time may have come to lift that restriction. Oh. Oh. I appreciate this. Interesting. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. Yeah, most likely. That's all. Uh, okay. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. He's got he's got fucking I don't know. Something special it's about for him. For both our sakes. But you, Amalthus. Who is it that you're living for? Well, <laughs> it's a good question, actually. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my 
like rusty ass explanation of the Aegises. So, in a sense, yes, the Aegises are blade plus. They are the strongest blades um, that have been created. The Aegis, there's two Aegises. There's Pyra Mithra, which are one, and then there's Malos. Now, Malos might have a secondary personality. We have no idea. But they're basically the first blades created by the Architect, and what they were used for were as guardians of Elysium, essentially. This guy came in, stole them from Elysium, which is where we've been trying to go for the whole time. He stole them, which was the guy we were just talking to. The, the Praetor. That motherfucker stole them. He's like 1,500 years old. He stole them, awakened Malos, became its driver. Malos was evil as fuck. And while Mithra was not, Mithra was awakened by Adam, which was her original driver. And from there started the great Aegis War. And the Aegises were basically power weapons. They were powerhouses to all these blades that were created to help humanity prosper to fight, to defend, to create. That's what they're for. Because they're smart, or they can do stuff, like they can, you know, they can fucking help build bridges, they can do a lot of things. They can do, they're, they're, they have utility, they have combat, all this stuff. The Aegises are just really fucking powerful, they're the first creations, and they fought in this big-ass war. Mithra, yeah, his name is Malos, like, yeah, Malos, yeah. Malos, exactly, correct. And at that point, um, when it comes to the Aegises, is that they fought in a war. They fought in a war together against everybody. And the two Aegises, Malos and Mithra, basically destroyed like a metric fuck ton of humanity in the war. Well, fast forward 500 years, we, for some reason, it's kind of like our, yes, Yes, correct, uh, Warren. That's right. Yes. So basically, now people want that. Now there's a war brewing again between Uriah and Morardane, as you saw, and they wanted to get a hold of the Aegis for their own benefit in the war. Well, Torna, no. So they give them a weapon as their like. So an e so a, a blade. A blade is different from a driver. So the driver wields the weapon, but the blade itself is given to them by the core crystal. So, like that girl right there with the tail. She's a blade, which gives him, the guy in front of her, Zeke, the great sword. They just they just they, they just empower the sword with ether energy. Because they have more ether energy than humans do, than normal people. So yeah. And the Aegises are just really overpowered weapons of mass destruction, essentially. And it's just where one side wants them for the war. Then there's Torna, which has Malos. But Malos' driver is the Praetorius guy. The guy we were just talking to back there. And his goal is to basically free all the blades so they don't have to be chained by humans. And what he has done is... I'm. I'm going to assume, like the soul of the sword. Yes, yes, just like that. Mm -hmm. Like the soul of the sword, or the weapon, or the bit ball, the the knives, whatever you got. And I'm assuming Malos basically made Praetorium Al Almathos almost immortal, so he can't die by age. He's already a a different type of being, so they live longer anyways. So that's why he's still alive. But I don't know what happens to an Aegis when their driver dies. Because Pyra, a.k.a. Mithra, her driver died, but she went into a sleep, and but still retains her memories. And we have part of her core crystal in, in, inside of us, because we get stabbed in the chest. So, I don't know about all that stuff. But that's my rough, like, explanation of the Aegis and drivers and blades. Yeah, because Adam is dead. So Pyra's original driver is dead. He's been dead for centuries at this point. But she put herself into a sleep before he died, I guess. So she didn't revert into her little core crystal. Her little, her little, the thing that's on my chest. So, and retained all of her memory. But Malos' driver has not died. Because Malos, 
I'm assuming his driver is still the, the Al Al Althamus guy, as far as I'm concerned. And that is Lord Dump with the comedian. But the blade is the core crystal, right? Yes. Yes. So the blade itself, the, the, the being, comes with a weapon when they get summoned. And they are the, the core crystal. So if you destroy that core crystal, they are dead. They're de I think they're dead for good. I don't think they even revert back. As far as I'm concerned. Because we've only seen it happen once. And that was with Fawn. So, I don't know. But yeah, I would say yes. The blade is the core crystal, yes. Gotta scratch my leg. It's itching. Alright. Morning, folks. You're looking a bit better slept than yesterday. Pretty much. He got to sleep with Mithra. He had her boobas on her. Fawn State Funeral is being held today, is it not? Yeah, I think it was meant to be happening in Sarah's Plaza, right outside the Sanctum. And the driver is just some dude with a blade. Or, yeah. If the core crystal is destroyed, the blade cannot revert as far as we know correct. Because right now, as we saw, Fan, who was a blade, got stabbed in her core crystal. And there's a funeral for her. Right now as we speak. So yes, it, they cannot revert. That is the blade's weakness. You'll be going, right, chum? Yeah, it would be wrong for me not to. Sir's Plaza, not very far away. Time to go, quick, quick. Master Pond, so bossy sometimes. Do they have different weapons with each awakening? So it depends on the blade. So if, so, okay. There are different blades with different weapons, but like, say for instance, I summon Pyra, right? Pyra will always be a sword. Dromark, which is the dog right there underneath Nia's name, will always be um, circular blades. So, one, uh, if a blade has a sword, that blade, every time it gets awakened, will always be a sword. So, you know, they do not have a different weapon with each awakening. It's just different blades have different weapons, but that blade has that set weapon every time they get summoned by someone else. Uh, I want you... You include. There we go. Alright. Let's go to the funeral. To the funeral! Woo! I love this game. <laughs> Let's go to the funeral! Yeah. Oh, here we go. Funeral time. Yep, see? See her core crystal's chipped now. See it? She was a blade. She never reverted back. It is sad times. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Should you be with him? Yeah, correct one. He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. She has a point. <laughs> I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from him. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Because she knows how... How you does? Get out. So wait. Toss it, Masculina, yep. You want to go be clingy a lot. That's how I deal with funerals. I kid, I kid. When my grandmother died, I just... I pretty much didn't cry in front of anybody. I sat in my car and wept like a little child for 30 minutes. And then drove home. And just stayed in my room all day. I don't cry in front of others it's when I'm weird. sad or depressed. What don't is? do it. I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, I'll just go back to being a core oh, crystal. Here you go, so Warren. He's found just dead. That's some extra lore. I did wonder the same thing. There's it's unhealthy, one I know. Way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minnow? I mean, Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. But oh shit. Now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex, 
and the outer part to us. Oh. I don't know why that is. Oh! To be a rule. She, yeah, she's missing the X. Okay. Exactly. It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? Oh, shit. So that, that was the explanation right there. So, getting killed... So, someone stole some of her core. As well. When you feel like you need to cry, you need to cry. Which I, I do, but I, again, I do it alone. I, I, I was I was raised to, to not... to How I was raised was to always bring joy to others and not let your sadness bring them down. That's how I was raised as, 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 as from little to, to now. And I, and I live by that. Cry in the middle of a disaster and you're fucked. I mean, okay. But when you've got, you got downtime, let that shit out. When you freeze in the middle of a disaster, yeah, but crying at a funeral is good. True. Agreed. Unless someone is depending on your stability. Which is what I had to do. Um, a lot of people were there that were crying and pretty much I stayed not crying to make them, like, try and help them feel better. Crying people is good for you in ways I cannot explain wholly. I can understand that. I... During that funeral, I mainly just talked with family, and I let them know the things that she wouldn't tell others. Because she would, because my grandmother would talk to me on the weekends, when I would go and like take care of her for a weekend and stuff like that. She would talk to me all the time, and I let each family member know what she said about them as well. Um, because I wanted them to know that... Yes, she she did pass away in a really bad state. She had Alzheimer's. It was, it was very sad. Um, but she didn't forget any of them. And that was their fear. And then seeing them like that, I would tell them what she had told me. And then, you know, they would hug me and they would cry. And then I literally was just in my car, just fucking out. It was just, it was, that's just my, that's what I do. I've always been the type to just, even if I'm like depressed as shit or whatever, I'm always going to be a, trying to make other people happy as much as I possibly can. Because I don't want them to feel like I feel, which, which was sad. But I'm not sad anymore. I'm getting, well, I'm still a little sad because, again, I do miss a lot of the things from back home uh, and everything and a lot of that shit that happened. But I'm feeling a lot better now. Yeah, same community. Yeah, exactly. Um, Like, honestly, I think, I think like, even even at work, when I worked... You know, back at Domino's, I mean, like, opening in the mornings. Like, eat when I would open in the mornings, like, I would be in, like, the worst mood from that morning. Because that was when a lot of bad shit was happening. But, like, I would come to work and I knew, I knew that, I knew that Emily wasn't, you know, couldn't have a, didn't have a good day. And I was like, no, I'm about to do some stupid shit. But to make her work day the best work day she can have. All the time. Always did that shit. I hated going to work in a, in a bad mood and all that stuff, but I always did because, again, I was very fucked up from breakup and she getting cheated on and all that shit. It was terrible, but, you know, I made it through. I'll say that. I, I made it through. I had friends. I had family. I had a lot of stuff helping me, and then, obviously, streaming helped me a lot as well. My grandma's mind is starting to go, and she's I Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crying is good. Crying is good for you. Emotionally, cr Emotional crying is a brilliant evolutionary trait humans have. It's brilliant. It physically removes stress hormones. In your body it alerts others to your distress and it creates a sense of emotional release i try to cry at least once one time a day actually i did have this happen to me and we're pausing this right here so i can so we can uh, have a you know a, a serious discussion real quick i did have this one time happen this was at school this was like this was back in back in uh, alabama the, the, i was I, I i literally was keeping all this like anger and all this shit in because um because of the the breakup and everything and i, I was i was i was royally pissed and I remember I literally went out, I was in, at the school, I sat down and just fucking like, just cried. And I thought no one could see me. I thought I was alone. And this guy came, this random ass dude came up. And and again, as y'all know, I'm, I'm not like a huge believer in everything. But but I, I believe there's something out there. But he came up to me, he sat next to me, and he just talked to me. He was just a random guy. I didn't know who the fuck this man was. He was just a random ass dude. And he put his hand on my shoulder and he was just talking to me and talking to me, talking to me. And, and he was just, you know, like, Hey, look, man, like things are going to get better for you. You know, you're going to, you're going to get your shit done. You know, you're, well, he didn't say shit uh, or anything, but he just, I'm kind of paraphrasing. And, and then he, 
what he did was he goes every man has a huge trial in their life that they have to get through it happens and that he said that i'm gonna get through it and that better things are gonna come and then he just asked me if he could just pray for me. that's it and again i'm not a huge believer i don't you know do all that you know religion stuff but i was like yes i'm not gonna tell him no I, you know i didn't see any harm in it and he did right he's very nice very sweet man and I mean, I was already kind of like in tears. And I gave, you know, and then I stood up and he stood up and I hugged him. He just hugged the man. He made me feel a little better, right? Well, here's the funny thing. That's the same day I saw on my job feed the job that I have now. It's the same day I saw a random recommendation uh, on my YouTube for the same company that I work for right now. So there was something telling me to go for it. And I did. And now look at me. I'm living in a nice apartment. I have an awesome friend who lives 10 minutes down the road from me. Like, it's great. I love it here. It's quiet. You know, I don't have a lot of stress here. You know, I can pay my rent. I can pay... My tuition stuff that I have to pay for. I can pay for what I need in life. Do I have to kind of crunch my money? Yes. But it's not that bad. I can still afford the necessities I need for life. And I also really like it out here. So yeah. That shit is true. Life is nothing but trials. That's true. Very true. Very true. Also, I didn't read this other one. Uh, I have ADHD and so lots of it's relatable to me. I just tell her to shut grandma uh, tell her to shut grandma, and I've always forgotten where I'm going in the middle of walking there. I've done that. I've done that a lot, too, as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. This dude, this man was... I never got the man's name. I never saw him again after that. Stars aligned. Yeah, wow. I was right, yeah. All these things just randomly showed up after that. So, call it, you know? I mean, I, I see it as... Damn. Like, this is some shit right here. Like, this is some real, real, like, situational shit, and... I mean, you know, it blew my mind, but, and I got the job, I live out here now, and it, and so far, I like the job. He was an Aegis, he was an Aegis, that's right, that's right. That's right. He was, he was telling me like it is. Good man. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> that's quite the grand ceremony. Oh, what you got, what you catching? Oh, a Makuita. It spoke volumes as just to how much Fawn loved was loved by her people. The goddess of Indo won't be an easy position to replace. Hey Rex, what are you going to do from here on out? If we're going to reach the World Tree, we'll we'll need the Praetor's help. But Master Rex, there you are. Praetor Amalthus wishes to speak with you. He's waiting in the audience chamber. That's perfect timing. But maybe he wants to talk about the World Tree. I'm afraid I cannot say. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get ourselves to, on over to that audience chamber then. Let's go ahead. Let's go get to the audience chamber. Let's get to the audience chamber. Might as well finish up some of this extra dialogue that's coming out. So, there we go. I like how I teleported like 10 feet in front of me. <laughs> oh, more than 10 feet. Like 200 feet. Let's go. Wasn't all a waste. A couple seconds. I'm not sure if you can change which Pokeball you use, uh, Warren. I'm pretty sure it just does the one that you did. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it changes whenever the uh, the, 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 the thing pops up. Nope. It escapade. Yeah. I think it takes your first Poke Catch and runs the uh, the calculation from there. Rip. F's in chat for the bottom. Of the The way you did the Poke Catch Ultra Ball, Warren, is how you do them. You can only try it once. You only get once. Once you do your Pokeball, that's it. You've used it. And it won't let you do another uh, Pokeball. My apologies. Did I keep you waiting? No. Not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. Cleansing? It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Bonding with a crystal carries certain risks, you understand. Wait, can you make mine better? 
Like my rare ones? When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. Oh? So I might be able to do it too. I can do that? Who knows? Different people are Different strokes different for different things. folks. Right, yeah. Now then. My work is done for the day. Come with me. Oh shit, he's got more shit to talk. I like his little like I like his whole outfit. I'd wear that. I don't know about the, the fucking big ass circle thing here. Though. A special envoy. Let's try to to make sure I don't fucking try to nibble my me. balls or something after getting like uh, right. a surgery done. Behold. What are those called? A cone? A cone on like a dog or a cat? As a salvager, <laughs> I imagine you are already aware. But this is all list, the world we currently inhabit. Oh, okay. We make our home on Titan, moving in circles around the world tree. And here lies the great void. So instead of the planets. This void came okay. into being five hundred years ago. It oh. did not exist prior to that. So I've heard a void. It's in our way anyway. It stops us reaching the world tree. The great void is carved from the cloud sea by a monstrous beast Ophion. known as Ophion. Hey, I said it right. Wait, you mean you be all right, bro? That thing is so fucking cool, too. To be precise, it is an artifice, a certain artifice. Of oh, of Mithra. Oh, the so servant. Thing is Mithras. Then what did it attack us for? Doesn't make sense. Dude, can we command that thing? In the ancient How north? Sinking below the clouds. What, like, um, what's it called? Uh, Yeoman Gunder? Yeoman Gunder. This means someone must have revived it. And it wasn't Mithra. Correct. Malice. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? <laughs> Oof, right? They gave Ophion one directive. That's how that's how that's to how that guy sees it. Approach the world tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So an obstacle was created. The Great Void. Oh, World Tree. Oh, so how um manage a feat like that. Y Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. As I've said, that's it. Yggdrasil. Mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders. And it lies, lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Fetak, and it's guarded by the royal family. Your royal. Take you to it. Hell yeah! I've prepared your envoy documents already. Envoy? Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malos and his ilk will surely seek ilk. the Omega Fetak for themselves. I would ask you... To reach Elysium yeah. before they do, and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man. Like Overlord. And so that people Ooh, may have a I love that anime. I've only seen the first few seasons world. of that, though. I need to watch the other seasons. I need to rewatch season two, because I don't remember season two that much. I rewatched season one recently, and uh, I need to get back to season two. So, see, you're going to be guiding us to Tantal, right? Sure am. Welcome back, bro. But let's head back to our chambers before we talk before we talk about it. this isn't exactly the place for discussing stuff back to our room got it all right well let's let them discuss i want to get through some of the discussion uh real fast before we end uh end the stream you should get this game you definitely should i feel like you'd like it it's a really fun game because like after this one i'm gonna do um um after i beat this one i'm going to do the the prequel game for Torna, then I'm going to play the third game, and after the third game, I'm going to play Persona 4. And then I have no idea what to do after that. That's that's like that's like a year and a half to two years of content right there, so I have time. You said about De Dead Blade? Oh, yeah. Talking about uh, Fawn? That shit sucks that she died. We've prepared your rooms. I presume you'll be wanting to take your leave soon. Please, make sure you're all well rested before you set out once more. Alright, let's go ahead and rest and let the dialogue commence. Get these dialogues out of the way so we can get into the action we can reach for next time. Tantal by ship, but once we're there, we'll need to do a spot of walking. So we're traveling with Shellhead here. Shellhead! I never thought I'd see the day. 
I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. <laughs> kind of cool. Mm, luck of Zeke, not so great. Bet we shipwrecked by tomorrow. Oh, let's hope not. <laughs> Cheeky furball. We're all going to die. <laughs> We're all hey, going to die. You said before that Torna concerned you too. What did you mean by that? Yeah, what did you mean by that? Well, That's a good question. Oh, yes, that. I don't know about those clowns, but Torna, the country that fell 500 years ago. Of Seahawk from Shira. Tantalese. The people of Tantal are descended from Adam. The hero oh. Of Torna, who escaped its destruction. So, after Pyra fell asleep. A spot of walking. Tantal. That's right. That okay. Is the first I've heard of it. I so, have studied much history, but this story never featured. Most peculiar. Okay, so Adam. We're humble. Don't okay. Really like to brag about it. I don't know about that. The only real trace left is in this here sigil of the royal family. Do you know it, Mithra? Speak up. No. Okay. Guess she doesn't want to speak up. Oh! 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 So why did you awaken Hayes? Because her power was of great use to me. Her power is pretty Indol good. has found itself under attack from Torna a number of times. But you take some of her core? She was necessary in driving them back. Really? Then why don't you seem to have any others? Blades, that is. Huh. <laughs> Driver though I may be, I am no fighter. Okay. Besides... I find the warrior monks here so reliable. Warrior monks are cool! Done. <laughs> if you say so. I wonder, do you know why Torna are using the name of a dead country? It's a good question. Was a blade of Torna once? Yeah. Loyalty and nostalgia. Who can say? Mm. Perhaps both. Okay. Is that really all there is to it? You don't think so? Probably not. I don't know much about what happened while I slept. There are no written records either. Ow! All we have is stories passed down. I kicked something on the And you think that is insufficient? History is a murky thing. Only those present can truly know what took place. Oh, but yeah. weren't you one Facts. of those present? And that is why. I offer you my cooperation. He's got a pointy ass fucking chin beard thing. I guess we'll find out if we go to Tantal. I think there's something else she's not telling us. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but all right. Right, let's head for the Goantis port. Can we make it to leisurely walk? I guess. Why? It's been young since I last went home to Tantal. I've been thinking of Indol as my home so long now. It feels weird to leave. My it feels so weird to leave. I want to enjoy my last memories here. You can be shockingly sentimental sometimes. I know, shocking, isn't it? Shut up, you two. Gotta take these Indoline presents for the folk you haven't seen in a while. Huh, as if my old man would want any of that shit. Come on, let's start walking to the Gaiotis port. Could you grab a swig of Odifa along the way? They don't have that stuff in Tantal, so this could be your last chance. I said shut up already. Cool. He looks like a deer god. <laughs> Did you know, Adam? means the man in hebrew i did not know that okay but what we are gonna do is save we got a lot of shit done today he's the man let's go he's pretty cool though seems at i feel like there's more to adam also let me uh change scenes real quick so we can uh see my beautiful face a little bit clearer stuff hi all right you're ending the stream with all that shit done all that story progress we just did so who will we rate it that's a question so the first aegis was awakened by the man or mankind Ooh. um well technically so technically um can we raid puffy yes we can um technically the aegises sorry uh the aegises were made together malos was really one of the first ones that was awakened by the praetorians our, our mothless guy and then adam came in and said mithra and chose mithra so 
I don't know, maybe. There's malicious, and then there's Mithra, which is, I guess, mythical, or I don't really know how to judge her name. But, yeah, I mean, you know, could be. Adam could also be some sort, like, obviously, like, reference. Because, like, you know, Japanese anime, they like to reference Adam a lot. Like, y'all seen Evangelion as well. So, I could see that. But he wasn't, I don't think he was the first to be awakened. I think Malice was the first one. It's just that the Praetor guy stole two of the, the, the two Aegises that were created. So, yeah, that's what I think. Could be wrong, though. Well, let's get this raid going for Puffy. I love Puffy. I'm also glad that Puffy's on, too, because I've been wanting to catch their stream. Okay. Me too, they're the best, they're the best. I love Puffy. Puffy's amazing. I love, love their energy. All right. Well, I want to say, let me make sure that I get this right. I want to say also, uh, I guess yesterday, someone came in named Death by Logic. I don't know if you're in chat or not, but thank you for the follow. Also, Warren, thank you for the biddies. You are now third place on the biddies. Good shit, buddy. And I also want to say thank y'all so much for being here today. Um, whether you were chatting, lurking, the fact you were here, I much appreciate that so much. And I will see you guys on Monday, 6 p.m. CST, um, for more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And y'all know what to do. Thank you for the stream, uh, community. Thank you so much, uh, Ro. And uh, y'all know what to do. Y'all need to stay safe. Stay uh, hydrated. And I'll see y'all uh, Monday. <laughs> Bye, everybody.